order. Borough Bath Council meeting for Monday, June 10th. Please rise for the pledge to the flag that our junior council member will lead us. Manager Flynn, please roll call. Or do roll call. call yes, Mayor Mayor Mirabito. Here. Councilman. President. President. Hesh, yep. President. Ca Council Vice President Ergot. Here. Pro Tem uh, Mirabito. Here. Councilman Hammadike. Present. Councilman Lysaki. Present. Councilwoman Angst. Present. Councilwoman Bullsnake. Here. Junior Council Person Goldfarb. Present. Manager Flynn's President. Solicitor Kratz. Present. Engineer Madison. Present. Sean Lighty's excused from the zoning office. All right, thank you. Uh, you know, new item on the agenda, administrative address or announcements. I asked Manager Flynn to just touch on something real quick before we get into courtesy of the floor. Yes, the new traffic lights in the borough of Bath. They went live May 15th, 2024. These, uh, the signals are undergoing a 30-day testing phase with PennDOT and the contractor. That can be extended another 30 days if needed, and it looks like they might need another 30 days. Who knows? The, uh, this is all new traffic signal equipment for the borough. There's newly installed pedestrian signals. We've never had that kind of technology before. There's video detection out there. We've never had that kind of technology. So getting everything timed and adjusted is going to take some time. Uh, we would like, the borough of course would like uh, continued patience with motorists that uh, both travel through the borough, of course our residents as well, while this uh, time period continues and they can dial the lights in. And I think we all have to remember that the uh, Newburgh Road is closed and that's adding to some of our traffic congestion in, in throughout the borough. We've been in constant contact with PennDOT almost on an every other day basis. So if there are issues out there with the traffic signals, I think Chestnut in Northampton right now seems to be the squirreliest of the bunch. So we've been sending some information to PennDOT for them to constantly look and kind of hone that in. So it's a process. We just, we're going to keep on it. And again, if anybody sees anything unsafe or if they don't think the lights are working correctly in, in any one area, send us a note here at the borough. Call the office. We will get that over to PennDOT. That is all. Are there any questions in regarding to the lights before we move into courtesy of the floor from either council or anybody on the floor? I believe it's working better because it's not backed up by my house. So okay, there nice. you go. Yeah. I can see the difference. Good, good. Um, yeah, I think we were all hoping that once in and everything would be flowing. And it almost seems like the first day or two that, because uh, I even had stopped down here, I had to sign paperwork or something, and, and we talked, and it, there was nothing backed up on 512. And it's almost like, wow, maybe things are going well. And then two days later, it just started to get all confused. So, um, so Brad, thanks for that. And, um, Okay, again, yeah, moving on to courtesy of the floor. Uh, Mr. Fields, start with you. Anything? No. Okay. Yeah. No. no. Susan? Uh, Luce? Luce? Anything? I'll report during, uh, the, during the agenda. Sure. The All right. Uh, you know, we're going to, I know you guys want to make an announcement. I'm going to have Tony go, and then we'll double back to you, Brian. Go ahead, Tony. We have to respect our elders. So. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we're all getting there. Not me. I'm stopping. Tony from the Bat Fire Department. 35 calls for the month of May. Four were uh, advanced life support assistance with Bethlehem Township. 31 were fire requests. Total year to date is 142. That's all I really have. Uh, any questions for uh, Tony or the fire department in general? Anybody on the floor? Anybody with the dais? Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks Tony. Tony. All right, Ryan and your associate, if you guys want to just state your name and uh, your relationship to the borough. Or, uh, I'm yeah. Gabe Landis, and I'm in Troop 43, and I have a proposal for an Eagle Scout project at Firefighters Field. Okay. Um, I want to build a rainbow bridge that leads to a concrete dog statue surrounded by stone that matches
is the path that's already there. And a bulletin board behind the statue where they can hang up like pictures. Um, I want to build two more benches that match the original ones that are already there for along the creek and put mulch under all four. And also build birdhouses that also go along the creek spread out and hang them on trees or if you can't hang them on trees on post. And then also bench <coughs> under the swings and the tree in the middle of the path and then clean the benches that are already there. Okay. Great. Oh, yeah. And um, standard paint the benches that are right there as well. Great. Yeah, that sounds Sounds great. I know uh, Fireman's Field, um, we're always looking for improvements in all of our parks. Um, thank you very much for approaching us. I know you were talking with Councilman Lysecki to coordinate some of this stuff. Um, Jim, I'll let you say a few words and then go ahead. Um, Gage, thank you very much for attending the meeting and doing your presentation. Brian, thank you for sponsoring Gage and leading him on his path. Um, also, I believe, Gage, you told me that this plan has been accepted by the Scout Council. Okay. So um, I think we talked some preliminary about some timing, you know, maybe starting as soon as you can get things together and hopefully completing some of this later on this year, as time allows. Okay. So thank you very much. Um, I don't have any other questions. We really appreciate you helping out the borough bath we have a comprehensive plant park plan and this fits right along with you know making aesthetic and good changes to the plant to the uh, parks yes and just go ahead just a your quick question you use the phrase a rainbow bridge yeah microphone microphone, Micron. Yeah. microphone. Yeah. you use the yeah. phrase rainbow bridge mm -hmm. what is that it's not Crossing the creek or doing anything near the creek. It's like a figure two. Bridge. Yeah, it's yeah. going okay. to be like a little bridge behind the tree in the middle of the path. And okay. It'll be painted rainbow. Got it. And, and um, thank you. In the meeting minutes, this was brought to our attention by one of our Bath residents, Autumn Masonheimer. Um, she had lost a pet last year. Um, went on, you know, and, and was thinking about doing something to the pet to have it recognized um, out in the public went online and found a town in North Carolina that put in a rainbow bridge. So when your dog crosses over the bridge, it's the rainbow bridge. Um, so you can look it up online if you, if you have some free time. Um, but you know, I, I think it'll be good. And I will certainly, you know, certainly we appreciate Autumn for bringing it to our attention and then you know, uh, Gage for um, working on the project. Gage, I'd like to thank you personally because Paul Park has a very special place in my heart. I love that area. So thank you. And especially for the birdhouses because I love birdhouses. So thank you for everything you're going to do. I appreciate it and um, all the best. Good luck. I know the uh, Knox Creek Watershed Association is very thankful about the birdhouse portion. Um, they've been wanting that for a number of, number of uh, years now because they've I guess rotted away and fell down, but um, and obviously you know to work with Brad and and, and Rod if you have any questions. Um, obviously Mr. Lysecki. Um So you got to watch the guy in the end with the permitting process and approvals from engineering. <laughs> you don't always have to listen to him, but just you know, let us know. No, but in all seriousness, so we we've still already about we've already engaged Brad. Ron will engage you know on on all further correspondence. We'll engage you. Do. Do we have a, as a as a council? Do we have to vote to approve anything? Yeah, yeah. give them permission to enter the park and make okay. the improvements. So we have to make a change to the agenda. Okay, might as well do it Motion now. to make a change. Yep. Motion by Jim. Second. Second by Mandy. All in favor, signify by aye. 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 Close. All right. So, yeah, whoever wants to make the motion, uh, the ceremonial motion, I guess you could say for. Gage to embark on this endeavor. So I'll make the motion for Gage Landis of Troop 43 to make improvements in Volunteer Firefighters Park um, starting in um, 2024. Second. Second by Manny. 
Any questions or comments? Hearing none, all in favor signify by aye. 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 All opposed? The ayes have it. Thank you very much, Gage. You have the okay from council. Um, and we wish you luck. And if you need anything, don't hesitate to reach out, okay? Yeah. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you for you. presenting. Thank you. thank you, Brian, too. Also. Brian, is there anything you <laughs> yeah. want to say? Yeah, we're here together, but we're here separately. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> Please state your name for the minutes. Uh, Brian Radcliffe um, with the American Legion. Brian with a B? Yes. Okay. <laughs> um, good evening. Um, I was here, some of you may remember a few a little while back, about the Hometown Hero Banners. A mm -hmm. um, couple of issues happened and COVID happened and I finally got um, somebody to actually make them. Um, I talked to Steve from MS Tech, he's going to help uh, produce them. The issue I ran into and the reason I'm here tonight is when I contacted MedEd about being able to hang them on the signs, they said they can only give me permission once I know how many and what poles, exactly what poles I'm going to use. The problem with that is, is I won't know that information until I actually sell the banners. So what I'm hoping is, I'm assu again, assuming the borough already has somewhat permission with MedEd because of the banners and stuff that you already hang. If we do this as like a joint proposal we from the, the Legion and the borough, um, maybe we can tag team off of your permission. That way it's one less headache I have to worry about because it's hard to ask for permission of what poles to use when I don't know how many I'm going to sell. Uh, if I sell 30 of them and they only agree with permission to do with 10 poles, what do I do with the other 10? My, my overall goal would be to hit um, uh, Main Street from Sprinkles to the Log Cabin. Right. So okay. if I get more than that, we can figure out what, ro what, ro okay. what roads use. I, try to, I would like to try to avoid 512 just because of all the heavy truck traffic. Yeah. And all the soot and stuff from the exhaust, you don't have that much as much of Main Street. Um, but that, that that is my goal from uh, Sprinkles to the Log Cabin. So I have a couple of questions on that for you, for you, whatever. But I don't want to go for somebody else has a comment or a question because I don't stop talking. <laughs> it's any I'm, sorry, Lauren. I'm interested in it. Um, I think I reached out to you before before COVID and everything else okay. happened. So how do we get a hold of, or how do we learn how to sign up for it? Well, this is just the beginning, like I said, now that I've actually got somebody that's willing to produce them, you know, the, ne the next step is, you know, if we can do this as a joint venture, he already told me he would make, he would make one up that we could hang as like um, a sample so people know what they're getting. Um, the cost just for the, the the banners and equipment, they're about, it's 160 per, per banner. So we would obviously upcharge that to, to, for as a fundraiser or whatever. Be, uh, right. yeah. mm -hmm. But if, again, if we could do this as a joint, the next thing I said would be getting one or two members of council with a couple members of the post. Then we'd have to uh, hash out the application fees and, and, and time frame. I don't think realistically we'd be able to get this done for Veterans Day. But I think if we do the sale now, we should be able to have everything done and up by Memorial Day, which a lot of these would be in Memorial anyway. Sure. Right. Yeah. Um, right. But that, that's, that's my goal at this point now is to get, this, get these up and hung uh, by Memorial Day. Okay. So, so a question I have. Uh, first of all, these are state roads. Is that going to require an additional approval? There's no state road. There's no state road issue. It's okay. a utility issue. All right, so that was my first question. Second question, would it be easier to be on specific bath roads, like broad and, uh, you know, well, you know, the ones that are, we're not going to rattle them all off. Right, like ours other than the state. But they're still, 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 understood, understood, but that's what I was wondering, like, from uh, borough versus state. <laughs> But but there is no I'm sorry but there is no issue with state roads. It, nothing to do with roads. Yes, the poles. Yeah. Oh. So I think it's a good idea, but I think what Brad's thinking and what I'm thinking is that the borough has certain permission already from uh, MedEd to put banners on certain poles. We can't couple it together. I don't see how, I don't see how you can do that, frankly. Right. I understand the idea. Okay. But I, I just don't see how we. Can, you would be in the same I think quandary that you're already in. Because they're gonna, if we went back and said we wanted to put an additional banner, they're gonna say on how many poles. Well, if I can, right? if I can just ask Jamie. Sure. We 
purchase the 275th anniversary banner, they're welcome to that. And in my personal opinion, they're on their last leg. Okay. They're very, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so I'm sure. thinking maybe they we need could to be replace replaced. those with the hometown hero banners. My that's only concern good, that's is that MedEd, you know, slapped our hands for putting signs on poles. So they, it should be an issue if the banners are, are already there right. from the old ones. You know this. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 So just right. So you're not adding. Banner. You're not saying can we add additional banners? You're mm -hmm. saying can we? Well, replace? we have X banners out there that we <coughs> want to replace. Well, we do have That's those, different. but we'll need more because um, they don't all go up to the to the log cabin. Are there some down here by Sprinkles? I can't remember. Yeah, maybe one. I think there's one or two. Yeah, so I don't think it's as many because we already have them tied up. So if we exchange, so the 275th anniversary committee is probably going to hang me at the stake for saying this. But um, they are, they're on their last leg. They're worn. They're not red, white, and blue. They're orange, pink, and purple by now, I think. Can we have to start the 300 anyway? Yeah, okay. You can start on the 300. <laughs> he, did, he did say you should get four or five years out of them. Okay. Okay. So, yeah. Which is. Yeah, well, we're past four or five years. Yeah. That was 2012. Yeah. What yeah. about the, where the brackets are still there and the flag's gone? In front of my house, there's yes. the brackets are still there. Yeah. And that's one of the 275th anniversary. So, yeah. It's gone. It's missing. Okay. Yeah. You said Memorial Day. Did okay. you mean Memorial Day? Memorial Day. One more day. Oh, next year. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, right. next one more. Oh, okay. Plenty of time. Yeah, I mean, it, would be, it would be nice to have it for Veterans Day, since there are Veterans Banners, well, I but I don't think there's, in the middle of June, really there's no there. way we'd be able to get the, everything coordinated in May. Right. And, so, can we have public words? Well, Memorial Day, I think, is more, a little more regular. Yeah. Thank you, sure. Thank you, sure. Thank God. So, I, I'm sorry, Brian. I, I just had a suggestion. Maybe we can have public works go around and just survey the different different flags and just report back to Brad with you know with pictures and just a simple report hey and here's here's the here's here's the, here's the status of of our polls and Brad we can perhaps include the uh, from MedEd our contact at MedEd yeah. Yeah. on an email with Brian so we can all be on the same page okay I mean I I I reached out to the mayor of Northampton a couple of times and he never got back because I think he was the one that was running the one in, in there. Yeah. So I know if, if you can reach out to him and find out if he had any kind of issues with MedEd with that or... I don't think his issue was MedEd. I believe it's a municipality issue. Okay. I don't know. But okay. Yeah, I can. I'll reach out. Okay. So another question and then a comment. Um, picking back on what the mayor said about maintenance. Um, seeing these in a lot of towns and seeing them get torn and faded and things of that nature. Are we looking at this being like for however long they last? Um, are we looking at if something happens to one that we're going to replace it? Um, is this for like a certain time frame they're going to be up? Not that you have to answer tonight, but I'm just... I, I think the, from what, the way I understand with some of the other municipalities, they hang them mm -hmm. and they're up till the... Deteriorate. They deteriorate. And it will be up to the families to then, if they wanted to replace it, or mm -hmm. if there's like a waiting list because you ran out of poles. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. My other right. thought too is, and I saw, I forget what municipality it was. I don't even know if it was in Pennsylvania. That one town has them. Yeah, but um, they put them in a park because something they were having issues with the utility poles, so they wanted to do this. So they made. Now it wasn't even like a memorial in a park, but they had like all of them lined. They put posts and they had them all lined up, and it looked kind of cool because it was like all of them in one part in one park. So I guess what I'm saying is, if we really run into issues with the utility poles, maybe we come up with you know a plan B of putting them in a you know a nice area of town. Yeah, walking paths in town. Yeah, like I mean, obviously the clock. Parks packed now, but that would look cool driving in. You'd see a bunch of, you know, bikes. So again, I'm not. I'm just. I don't want to get in the weeds with it, but um, yeah, I think there's a number of little details we have to figure out. Um, so I don't know if if we need to approve, disapprove, bless. I don't know what. I wouldn't do anything tonight other than the motion to do the inventory to see what you okay. have, see and what your works, the base of what you're working from. 
and then Brian can proceed forward on his end at this moment of figuring out kind of... Well, I wouldn't have him out selling the flags just right. yet. Right. Right. I think he should... I think what was said that uh, he's going to be put on an email string with our rep from MedEd. Right. Okay. So I think maybe the next council meeting we'll have so more information and we should yeah. okay. put it on the agenda and yeah. discuss it again. When we get to the point of the um, sample, does council mind having the sample hung here in Borough Hall? I don't care. Yeah. I would ask if you add that to your motion. All right, so we're looking for a motion for an inventory and then a sample flag to be displayed it gets in the, the minutes that way, so everybody that remembers. Point. Motion. Second. Motion by Manny, second by Jim. Any comments or questions? Hearing none, all in favor signify by aye. 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 All opposed? The ayes have it. Dr. Ratcliffe, you can proceed forward with <laughs> <in> your operation. <laughs> I just one other quick thing, uh, just to remind everybody that this Friday are our flag day services um, at the Legion, 6 o'clock on the front lawn. If you have any old, tattered, torn uh, flag and you need to retire, please bring them with you. They can be added into our service. So it is open to everyone. So, council, well, as always, you're more than welcome to attend. Anyone would like to get up and say a few things, let me know so I can make sure you're added to the agenda. What time? 6 p.m. 6 p.m. Friday. Thank you to you and everybody at the Legion. Um, I attended again this year, as, as every year, and um, it was very, you know, it's hard to always say it was very nice because of what the purpose of the celebration is, but um, I encourage those um, who have not attended to, to go. Um, uh, I know a number of us have been there in the past and all that stuff, so. Um, it's very, very well done, and we think that you do that for the town. Um, obviously, everybody knows the tank. They drive past it. It's pretty hard to miss. But um, it's, I think it's nice because, you know, a lot's put on the borough to do things, and we try, but we only have so many volunteers like every other organization. So it's nice when you see moments like that when you guys step up, like you, you frequently do, and uh, you hold an event like that that's kind of like, I don't want to say off of us, but... You're more important in that role for that holiday than right. than pretty much anybody else in town. So we very much appreciate that, and very well done once again. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Brian. Thanks, Brian. All right, who do we got left? Any of those three there that are related? <laughs> no? no. Mike, anything? Yeah. All right, I don't think we missed anybody. Junior council member, would you like to say anything for courtesy of the floor? Nothing. Uh, are you enjoying attending all the committee meetings? And yeah. there's a test at the end. I know this. <laughs> all right. Moving on. Uh, what do we got next? Minutes. Minutes. Approval of council meeting minutes. Now you're saying Bath Borough Council meeting minutes? No, I'm in town. Sorry. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right, uh, approval of council meeting minutes of May 13, 2024, regular session of council. What font did we use this month? Motion to approve. Right, answer my question. Motion by Manny. Second. Second by Jim. All in favor signify by aye. 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 All opposed? The ayes have it. All right, uh, appointed council member committee reports and report of elected officials. Uh, personnel finance administration. Uh, just a couple of points that we did mention that we put out the request to everybody, every committee, um, to work on their committee uh, requests for their budget for 2025. Um, trying to think what else that was really uh, stated that's outside of your report. I don't know anything else with show, Manny, Brad. It's pretty no. straightforward, pretty <coughs> boring as compared to other months. So, all right, any questions? All right. Uh, NASCOG, Councilman Hammondike. Right. So there was no meeting in May. We anticipated a meeting for the 20th of this month, but no agenda has yet been provided. So nothing to report, basically. 
Uh, when was the last NASCOG meeting held, like in person? Two months ago. Six. Two. <laughs> two. <laughs> two. And then there was a couple breaks before that, so probably had two meetings out of the six months so far. And for those of you that don't know, that are that are observing, I mean, NASCOG is. The National Area Council of Governments. It's meant for 10 municipalities. There are like 11 members that we have now to work together on various tasks. Um, so sometimes you hear us joke and complain. It's just because I personally feel like we need to be doing more. But anyway, moving on. Uh, environmental steering, Councilman Hammondike. Right. Uh, last Monday was an exciting night. Brought a motion to change the name of the committee to the Environmental Advisory Committee or the EPC, if you would. In short, um, initialize it. We hope it will be a better descriptor for the committee. Um, just want to remind people as well as your clean up basement that June 15th from 9 to 11 we'll be having our annual recycling and paper shredding event at Fireman's Field. There's many uh, items that you can recycle for free, as well as there are some services that are attached to a fee, mainly your appliances and bigger items, televisions. Uh, the vendor will be at the park accepting all this stuff as well as myself to greet you. So this is for people um, in the town of Bath only and we'll be accepting cash or check, no credit cards at this time. Nigel. Nigel. Cash. Um, also, uh, our committee is working on uh, creating a, a sign-up form for a monthly roadside trash crew. Um, Hopefully we'll get a name for it so it's not just the roadside trash crew, but um, that is also in the works. And um, we also discussed this month uh, the initial feedback from the sanitation survey and different changes that we could uh, maybe uh, think about when we, as we write the uh, renewal contract for sanitation. That's all. Doug, um, the meetings for the contract for sanitation um, are open to the public, correct? Yes. Because, you know, everybody has an opinion, so oh. um, they should be informed on how this works. We don't just come up with a price, so. 100% correct. Thank you. And uh, as well, we do meet our next time we'll be meeting, it seems, as uh, July 1st at 6 o'clock here. So anybody wants to join us, feel free. All right, any questions for environmental? I agree with the name change. Um, I know it's been environmental steering for a while. What we're steering, I don't know, it's not a sanitation <laughs> contract. So advising on various environmental things, I think kind of makes sense. But I don't think you need anything special from council unless somebody protests. Lauren? No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so then we're good. Lauren gave the okay, so we can move on. Uh, Community Economic Development Committee, I uh, won't bore you with too many things. Just a reminder, um, old home weekend's coming up in August. A sponsorship letter did go out um, to businesses. Uh, we didn't mail it, we're kind of handing them out. Uh, we have three live bands this year and an outdoor movie. Um, I haven't told the committee yet, so just between all of us here, and don't tell them that we actually did get a sponsor contact us last week. Um, so for one of the bands, we will have coverage on that. I won't name, well, thank you, Manny, for your contact and reaching out to a various business thing. Appreciate it. But anyway, so, so that saves us some money from the borough in. Um, I'd like to thank our junior council uh, member, Goldfar, who has been attending the committee and uh, meetings and has come up with some ideas. And uh, you can read that in the packet, in the notes, in the minutes. Um, She's been very active and very engaged and very involved, and we do appreciate that because we like getting the opinion of the Utes. Of the <laughs> Utes. Utes. Two Utes. One of my favorite movies. Any questions for community Utes. economic development? If so, please direct them towards Susan Simon. <laughs> okay. All right, moving on. MS4 committee. That would be uh, Mr. Miravito. Um, we did have all that information in the packet. Uh, just that there are a couple of things that they come up as motions later on, so I'll wait for that to for any questions or so that's just a suspense builder. <laughs> All right. Um, are there any questions though until we get to that later part of the agenda for Manny and MS4? No? Okay. All right. Eagerly await 
later in the agenda. Public Safety Committee. Danny, that stays with you. Oh, that's Michelle. Sorry, I'm sorry, that's Michelle. That's okay. It was canceled. Uh, both of them. Okay. There we go. Uh, <laughs> just when the stoplights aren't working, the public safety. They cancel. Yeah, right. That's right. Anyway. All right. That's what we were directing. Both time. lights were red. We didn't get here. <laughs> <laughs> Which is actually nice, considering last time they were all green. Yeah. Uh, Monocacy Creek, not Monocacy, Monocacy Creek Watershed Liaison, uh, nothing really to report. They did get wind of the um, rail trail coming into Bath, which I thought I told them last month, but they sent me an email all excited that they heard through the grapevine in the county about, I said, yeah, guys, I told you this like last year sometime. And uh, I was like, I want to see a picture. I said, they don't have anything yet. It's in the bidding process. When's the groundbreaking? I, I hope by the end of the year, but I, I don't know. So and what's it going to do? I said, it's going to connect hopefully all our trails and the parks and all that other stuff. So uh, they're happy. I think they even mentioned about a potential, you know, about like a uh, letter of support. I don't know if that would mean anything, but um, I want to bring it up to engineering. Your thoughts, either of you gentlemen there at the end? The project's already in motion. Yeah, so, yeah. so it doesn't really matter. Yeah. But it'll be ceremonial, right? Ceremonial. Yeah, they could frame it. That'd be great. Yeah. We've been kind of ribbon. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So. Okay, so other than that, there's really nothing to report. Water's still flowing. Temperature's good. Any questions about the water? We have a more and more Japanese knockweed. We did have a group together earlier in the year, and we cut that down. That's starting to come back. Now we're having it down by the clock. So I got to address that. So um, you have to get rid of it twice for it not to come back. So it's going to be a, a process um, yeah. that we're working on. We are aware of it. The watershed's aware of it. Um, but like anything else, it's just finding the time and and uh, the people to get together to do that. So um, probably within the next month or so, or maybe by next council meeting, I can report of uh, a date when anybody interested wants to go there and basically rip weeds or cut them with. You know, various cutting instruments. Okay. All right, Parks and Rec. Jim? Parks and Rec met on Monday, June 3rd. We had a good meeting. We did not change the name of Parks and Rec. We, we will keep it the same. Um, what we did dis uh, discuss is the uh, budget for 2025. We reviewed the budget for uh, and the actual expenses for 2024. Um, we're in good shape at this point. Um, and then we did discuss uh, some additions to the budget for 2025, uh, which would be the three signs, I think, at Volunteer Firefighters Park, Minocacy Park, and, I, and um, it's Kiff Colling. I forgot the I forgot the third park, but there's another there's another right. park. So we did we did talk about putting new signs for each of the parks. Um, you know, roughly estimate is about $1,600 per park. Um, and we also discussed the bridge, pedestrian bridge, over the Monoxy Creek and uh, the shape of the bridge that it's in probably needs to have an evaluation done to see what repairs need to be done on that bridge um, and painting and so forth. So um, that might have an impact on the 2025 budget or the 2026 budget. And our next meeting is on Monday, July the 1st. That's it. Any questions for Park and Rec? Question. Would the uh, trees at the school on Allen, would those be part of Parks and Rec's budget? Or just because they're so dead that they need to come down? Yes, PW is going to do that this year, <laughs> okay. but it'll be later yeah, this year. You. Okay. Yeah. I'm just afraid, you know, with all these storms that you I see, they're just falling over. We have work going on in Keystone related to trees. There's two trees that are going to be coming down, and another one's going to be trimmed up. Keystone Park. Mm -hmm. The trees at KIF will be later this year by PW. Okay. Um, when we cut those down, are we like replacing with other trees? That wasn't the plan. So. I, I like the tree life thing, and it gives some shade there because it's so bright. Yeah, um, not pine trees. Yeah, not pine trees. Maybe something nice, something flowering or whatnot. Tree tree. Right, right, Ron. I see with your face. You're in agreement. Landscaping of the parks can be part of a Parks and Rec yeah. grant application no, based on the no. newly adopted master plan. Right. There you go. So we can't just go right. buy trees. Nah, and plant. Like you no. can, but if you can get somebody else to pay for it. 
Well, I mean, I could probably get trees from the watershed, but through the state. But I mean, like, I just am saying we should, if we're cut down, which they need to be cut down, but to like maybe replace them with something nice. Would be nice if you get the grant, then you can get full size trees and have them put in instead of little. Absolutely. That take forever. Agreed. I don't care what kind of trees we get. I just were looking for some buy in here from everybody <laughs> that they want their trees back. I'm in, Frank. I'm in. I'm in too. Not that it matters. Sam, you're in? Yeah. All right. Now, I'm not trying to force you here. But no, no. I you just do trees. like trees? Frank, it's a good idea, but I'll, I'll, along with Manny, I'm, I'm thinking that the um, any money we can get on a grant to get larger trees is going to make it a little bit more, a little, little bit better to the eyes. So all of a sudden, you'll see 40-foot trees and these little dwarfs mm -hmm. standing next to them. Why by me? Uh, maybe. Go ahead, Ron. Landscaping of a park is important to be planned out. In other words, shade is important, but also safety. And sometimes when you have different landscape screenings, it acts as a safety problem mm -hmm. because people hide behind them. So planning the landscaping with all the other improvements, it all has to be part of the comprehensive plan. And don't just do one thing just because it makes sense make it part of the overall plan that we've already laid out. And I think that's fine. I mean, you're going to chop down these dead trees later this year, right? Yes. So, I mean, it's not like we've got to replant them right away. I'm just saying something, you know, uh, in the three-month plan. Yeah. Three to six. Maybe not. Three to six. All right. Any other questions about the dead trees in the park? No. All right. Was the one replaced up at Rarick for the museum? They replaced I've never, it. And at least they were going to. I haven't been able to look. So, that, that has been replaced. All right. Um, Bath Museum liaison, really nothing to report. Uh, two board members, Susan and um, past President Fields. Anything you would like to? Uh, no. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Two hundred fifty celebration committee. Um, I thank them all for all the work that they're doing. Um, I just kind of let I run the meeting and I let them talk amongst themselves and. Uh, I told them in June it would be nice if they could kind of get their thoughts funnelized, if that's a word, into uh, a mission of what they want to fundraise for or what they want to do. There's a lot of good ideas. Nothing has been decided upon. I did tell them whatever they want to fundraise for or plan for the borough's 250th, not the borough, America's 250th celebration in the borough, that it has to be presented to council for our vote of yes or no. So I just want you to be aware of that, that either maybe in the July or August upcoming meeting, um, me or somebody will tell you all what, what they're wanting to do. Anybody can serve on that committee, by the way. It's the third Tuesday of every month at 7, right, here. Last month I bought dinner for everybody out of my own pocket. I want that in a minute. And uh, so if uh, I'm not promising I will buy you dinner every month, but... <laughs> want to come out here. <laughs> so, any questions about America or the 250th celebration in general? Yeah, what was for dinner? Uh, I was just wondering. It was, it was I think it was no. sandwiches or cookies, as some may call them. Cookies, yeah. Yeah. cookies right? Chips. Yeah, cookies, chips. Mm. All sort of soft drinks. All right, uh, moving on. Uh, mayor's report. You seem to be having a problem with ATVs both on Old Forge Drive, Creek Drive, and in Firefighters Park, and around the school, the elementary school. Uh, I've been in touch with state police. They have been, and probably are right now, on Old Forge, um, and whoever is doing it will get, set, will get a violation. Um, and we urge anyone that sees the ATVs to please call it in to state police. No need to post it on social media. Just please call the non-emergency number and report it. It may sound trivial to you. You know, they're busy with other things. It doesn't matter. State police want us to call them. That was the message I received today at about 4.15 from the troopers. They want phone calls if there are ATVs on the road. Is there a pattern? And, and on the roads and in the field? In on the, the roads and in the field. Because I, I saw one in the field a couple weeks ago yeah, and I called. No. Good. Perfect. Two, actually. Perfect. Black and a red one. Perfect. 
Has there been any pattern of what time of the day they're like in the parks? Um, well, it's weekends, of course, and then um, usually around four or five o'clock, and again around eight, nine o'clock. This is about eight thirty. Yeah. So. Is there anything that the city police can hang out at those times too? They I know can't they're busy. Hang out, Frank. They can't hang out, but they're they're here. They're patrolling. And in fact, the other day the captain was here. The captain, the new captain because there was a big incident on Old Forge, so he assisted. Um, Good. So please call the police, please, please. And I know that's a problem in cities and municipalities all over. Big problem. It is. Oh, yeah. So I want to think optimistic, but at the same time, say good luck catching them. Yeah. Any other things for your report? No. Any questions for the mayor? All right. Uh, public safety reports. What? EMC. Good evening, everyone. Uh, Blue Figueroa, EMC for the borough. Um, I wanted to report um, that Bradford and I, over the course of the last year, have been working with Nurture Nature Center on a project they call Resilience. Uh, what they did was they matched uh, two or three high school students with the borough, other municipalities also, but specifically with uh, Bath. Um, and the young people, they looked at Bath for vulnerabilities, mostly environmental, uh, and they want to present a plan. And um, we slated at this point July 8th to do that, to present the plan. And also they'll be presenting a, um, a piece of artwork created by a local artist specific to Bath. And lastly, they'll also present 50 preparedness kits for distribution to the residents. I wanted to let you guys know in advance, so if you had questions before they came. Uh, is this in regards to Carrie Max, Maxfield? Which the, the artist? The artist. Yeah. yeah. So we were supposed to have a meet, I guess her husband oh, that's right. been that way. Well, um, uh, so we, she did the artwork of the sign down by the clock of the overall watershed map. Her and were very good at that. So I was wondering, because she works at Nurture Nature, and that meeting got canceled. So she was all right then making the artwork since then without you know, meeting uh, with I, us? I, I think these are two separate things. Okay. I'm, all right. I'm, Could I'm be. not 100% sure, but I can contact Carrie and, and check on that. I, I think yeah. they're two separate things because I have no knowledge of that piece of artwork. Yeah, I mean, if you don't mind, next time you email her, just say, you know, no, Frank, from the, borough was, Frank from the Borough was just wondering if, sure. you know, all right. I'll, I'll get her to reach out to you and sort it out. Yeah, like I said, I know her husband hasn't been um, feeling too good of late, so that's why I'm sorry, I'm scheduled. But um, yeah, so I mean, maybe it's just something. She has a lot to do. So maybe. Uh, it's, but to the best of my knowledge, we're still on course for doing those things: the uh, the plan, mm -hmm. the piece of artwork, and the 50 kits. Okay. Do you have any information contrary to that? <clears throat> yeah, and those 50 kits, emergency kits for Bath residents. Yes. How do you? Is there any plan for distribution of those kits? Well, uh, I had an idea. Okay. Of course, you guys can weigh in. Um, I thought that what we could do is we could run CPR certification classes here, <coughs> maybe once a month, and people who attend and certify could be given a kit. And at that point, we can uh, talk to them about preparedness for their homes and for their families. Mm. That's nice. That's actually a good idea. That's a great idea. What time on July 8th? It's a meeting. It's a council meeting. meeting. When's what? Oh, at the July 8th council meeting? Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. Okay. July 8th council meeting. That's okay. right. No, that's all right. I didn't know if it was earlier in the day. Or no. No problem. Yeah, I think it's great. Mm -hmm. Questions or not? Right. So Bradford and I will work it out, and, and uh, we'll do it on the 8th. I'll, have, I'll contact Carrie and see if I can get some clarity on that question for you. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. I have a question for you unrelated to that part. Um, you and Brad, are, whatever the proper grammar is, Brad and you, you and Brad. <laughs> you guys. You guys. The two you The two you The two youths. The two uh, youths. Uh, you know, back in the winter with the power outage and then the emergency center, George Wolf and all that stuff. And I know you guys were working on um, planning and coordinating. It was very well coordinated. It was good. but. Um, any updates on anything with that? You guys have been, everything's good to go, we think. Knock on wood for the next 
on the um, comes from a power outage or, or anything, or anything in response because <laughs> yeah, that was the first time that you had worked with us and it flowed well and it went it went good yeah, so I just didn't know if you guys are working on anything or right, I, I can't I, I don't have anything more to report at this time the only thing that uh, I have on my plate would be the uh, multi-year strategic plan which I promised you um, I wanted to make it look fancy, <laughs> but it's not really fancy. It's going to end up being a Word document. <laughs> hey, it solves the problem. That's all that matters. I, I keep looking at it, trying to say, well, maybe I can do this, but it's just text. Yeah. That's about all I have. That's, That's fine. fine. Yeah, I was just wondering how I know because you were working on those things, how that was coming along. So. And, and in regards to the power um, I think went okay. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was a kind of a fit start to try to figure yeah, things out. Time. We found our rhythm. Mm -hmm. uh, the mayor and Brad were easy to work with. I appreciate their support. Um, and we got it done. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, you did a very good job. And uh, I'm thankful that, that you're on board and uh, appreciate your hard work. So. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Any, Any questions? questions? Can we just schedule then the first aid class? Do you want to hold those here at we Pearl Hall? The CPR. The CPR. The CPR. Uh, I'm trying to secure some mannequins. I'm also, of course, trying to get CPR instructor certified. Um, and once I get the mannequins secured, then I can try to set up a schedule. Can we do that internally with the office? Yeah. Is that yeah. okay? Yeah, yeah. yeah that's yeah, yeah. good. And then we'll put out information when those dates are. We can do it here, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. All right. Uh, zoning officer and code enforcement and permits. Obviously, the old adage is in your packet. But um, any specific questions in regards to that from anybody? All right, I'll kind of pay that back that onto the parking enforcement program. Uh, questions on that, the numbers, the report, all that kind of stuff. So we're still under agreement that when the time comes, the meters will be bagged, when the construction is going on, all that kind of stuff. Sir, actually, in, re in reference to parking enforcement, I forgot to ask, um, 142 Washington, the uh, handicap spot has to be removed. Yep, okay, we need to do a um, repealer ordinance, okay. and then, yeah, so advertise, it'll be a couple months. Okay. Sorry. No, it's fine. Um, so any questions from anybody? Now's your time to ask. I'll make my push again to lower the price for 15 minutes. I know that's going to fall on dead ears, so I'm not rich like everybody else. So it is fun when I'm buying things in town and they give me a quarter and change. They said, give me that quarter so I can park in my own town. <laughs> Tough crowd. Moving on for our administration reports. Borough Engineer, Mr. Madison. Be happy to answer any questions from our first quarter um, engineer's report. We'll have one in July for the second quarter. A uh, couple highlights. The uh, solar uh, uh, street light grant project for Old Forge Drive that uh, is moving ahead. Our underground utility locating uh, uh, group, our Sioux Services, Subservice Underground Utility Engineering, will be out marking uh, later this week, and then our survey crew will follow them. What we're trying to identify is all the potential conflicts for the street lights. So we've been doing one calls and working with the uh, the authority for water and sewer laterals, and then Med Ed and all their electrical and all the community, uh, underground communication for cable and telephone. And we're hoping there's going to be adequate open space to actually put foundations for street lights. But if you get any calls, our survey crews will be out there this week. Also, in regards to the Bathwick uh, subdivision, major subdivision uh, project, we received a interim submission for a new layout for uh, the apartment buildings, and we met this afternoon with the fire chief to go over the uh, potential for fire protection uh, to be able to get on both sides of all four build buildings. So that's 
progressing. They're making uh, progress. So, other than that, I'd be happy to answer any questions. Um, you were talking about street lights. Are you talking about all the lights in town, or is that just over in Old Forge? If Brad uh, applied for a grant for uh, just the Old Forge area, and uh, they are solar powered, so that's the advantage is there is no power needed for them. Everything's done by solar. If you seen the street lights over on American Parkway near the Iron Pig Stadium, yeah. smaller scale, but same idea. Right. Okay. Thank you. How many new lights are going in? As of now, 23. So part of what Ron's office is going to do is a lighting calc. One more lighting calc to kind of fine-tune the area. But as of now, 23. Uh, to your comment about the rest of the borough, um, MedEd tells me today they have maybe three lights outstanding that they're converting to LEDs. Otherwise, we've had the entire borough converted to LED with the exception, I think, of Holiday Hill. I saw Those the are ours. on Sleepy Hollow and 5 Did they? is really, really dim. That's why I asked. Okay. Is that the old sodium vapor? Do you yeah. know? Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So they'll be getting changed out, they say, by next week. Okay. Thank you. Yep. Any other questions for engineering? Okay. Pretty simple. Uh, public Works. Um, so obviously there used to be a, a committee on Public Works, but we changed that so that Public Works can be discussed. With all of council in a public session, so now's the time to ask questions of public works to uh, Brad or myself or the mayor, or Lauren. I have questions. Uh oh, all right, okay. fire away, Lauren. Just things that I've observed in the borough. Okay. Um, up above uh, PNC Bank, no grass has been mowed. I don't know what's going on there. It's like three foot high, so I don't know what's going on with that. Um, the road sign at there's a road sign saying 248 on Chestnut Street by the uh, Reformed Church. It looks like somebody backed into it coming out of the parking lot there, so it's kind of hanging out onto Chestnut Street. Okay, that was reported. Yes. Okay, okay. Um, by the intersection of Main and 329. So when you're coming and you're going to make that continuous right turn. That's, there's so many weeds there that you can't even see that sign that says to continue on on a right turn. That's what I got. That's what I observed this month. That's <laughs> <laughs> good that you do that. Well, Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Mark. Um, you mean you didn't see the bulb that's hanging out? Oh, my God. So, sorry. Uh, it's I, not I, her district. I thought it was um, I two questions, so I don't know if one's under public works, but the first one, as I asked, uh, any word on line painting, or curb painting, I should say? They are, yep, that's going, oh, going to be on the schedule, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Well, a lot of this is, a lot of this is pinned out, unfortunately, so, or fortunately. A lot of it is what? It's pinned out. That one would be. Oh, yeah. Dot, well, the signs are penned out too. Anything that, anything, if you're on the street and the sign's facing you from that street, and if it's a state street, it's a state responsibility. If it's uh, local, it's a local. Depends on where you're standing in relation to that street and what sign you're looking at. So 329 and uh, Main Street, that's all penned out. So they'll normally go out there with their mower decks, and they've whacked that before in the corner. So uh, we'll just call them again and have them do that. Yeah. Thank you. Yes. And just remind me, because I ask it a lot and I forget. So I know there's a street sweeping schedule, but they do the whole borough now. Yes. Mm -hmm. And how frequently? It's Fridays and Mondays. So they do the whole borough Fridays and Mondays. That's the deal. Yeah. Because of that. I mean, what they can get to, Michelle. I mean, that's yeah, but not everybody is scheduled to move their cars, correct? Right. So we're so in and out. So if the section needs to be done, then we need to let them know they all need to move their cars. Yes. Okay. For Friday or month. Well, right. when do they do West versus East? It's yeah, on, we have, yeah, it's on. We, the, we need to see I'll the website. I'll look at it. Yeah. It's on the website. Yeah. And we have it in here. Okay. Just so I can tell them to move their cars. Yes. Yeah.
I have one more yeah. for uh, public work. Uh -huh. um, the bottom of Christmas Avenue. Yes. Where you're, the bit where you're, oh that's the God. one. <laughs> it's becoming a major crater. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. the one I call the UGI. UGI. Oh, okay. Today. Yeah. You're now number, I don't know, 39? <laughs> <laughs> when you get to 40, then the UGI's got to fix it. Yes. Lois. She reached the worst. Excuse me, UGI is the worst. Uh, even with the bridge, we're waiting on them to get their they're stuff horrible. together because yes. they can't get the rest of it started. They're responsive. And they're always you the last ones to get anything out of to their it's supervisor. Like to it really is. I would be surprised. Just like, you know, they don't fix anything until after the state or the borough repaves the road, and then they'll cut it open a week later. I do a few times. Yeah, oh, yes, <laughs> exactly. Can. And it happens every time. Uh -huh. Pave a road, they'll come and, oh, yep. there's an emergency, there's a gasoline. Well, fix this stuff. So, Brad, going forward, from a procedural standpoint, when we discuss this stuff, public works with you, uh, and what what's the preferred way? I know, obviously, if we could see a schedule of, uh, I know it's been on just using curb repair in approximate such and such month, uh, curb painting such and such month, um, is there anything you can like break down for us, like real basic stuff going forward, or no? The uh, I know it's probably a moving. Well, that project list is in there, is right? Like that? Yeah, okay. and it's got a tentative date and a, t a tentative completion date, right, right, right. which we fine tune each month. Right. Okay. Um, but I, I guess what I'm asking is, aside from that, is there anything you need from us when we come across these things? Is this the best place to report our findings to you? Uh, you want them in email so you have. A written record? I uh, yeah, you can. I would send emails honestly instead okay. of waiting an entire month, right. because some of that's public safety issues. I would say that needs to be dealt with. Right, and then I think too that yeah. committee meetings you could bring up and yeah. say, hey, right. exactly. So. The open gov system also. If you guys are registered into the system, you can put in work tickets or and that that gets our attention, flags us here in the office, and we can get it to the right uh, you know authority if we need to. So either either one of those two methods. Okay. All right. Any any other comments, concerns, or questions for Brad about public works right now? Brad, anything you want to report about public works? No, that's it. All right. Uh, what do we have? Water Authority, Jim. Uh, we had, the Water Authority had a meeting on Wednesday, May fifteenth, which I attended. Um, nothing to report other than um, the liaison report that I added to the packet. Next meeting would be on Wednesday, June 19th, Juneteenth. Okay. Any questions regarding the Water Authority? Pretty simple. All right. Uh, borough Manager, you know, there's a bunch of stuff listed in our report. Um, Brad, I'll let you talk first and then... Yeah, Nothing start. outside of the report. Okay. I mentioned in here is the the truck grant purchase slash whatever we want to call it. Um, do we discuss this now, or do we want to discuss it later after we get some stuff done? We can do it after we clear some business. That's fine. Okay. All right. So I'm just gonna kind of put a pin in it, and that's the kids would say. That's my pin. I see. You're so good, Frank. Okay. All right. Treasure report. Treasure report. We got that the other day. Questions about money? I do. Yes, okay. Uh, I away. saw on there that there's $7,000 for the clock, but the clock is just sitting there uh, taking a long nap. <laughs> so can anybody give me Probably an update on what's happening with July that? July 12th, the Vernon Company will be out to replace the inner workings of the clock. Thanks. So yes, that is scheduled. Yay. Yeah, Lauren, I've been late for work every day since that. <laughs> that's that's, all, that's only half the cost, Lauren. Yeah. Yeah. And there's only one company that does it. There's a waiting list. It's 15,000. Yeah. Do we need that clock? Hey. Nice. Thank you. Well, well, I mean, technically, probably not. Oh, boy. Right? Asking, we could just paint the That's fighting words, isn't it, Bobby? <laughs> Bobby, we're just going to paint the time on. That's fighting words. <laughs> hey, Lauren, it is right twice a day, though. <laughs> I don't know why those particular times, though. I thought it was That's nice. why Frank's late. Yeah. Mr. <laughs> Mr. Fields volunteered. He said he'll stand out there with a stick and change it. 
I think, I mean, I think you're busy, and I thank you for willing to do well, that. Well, like, like I said before, the last time, mm -hmm. we didn't pay for the clock. No. The borough paid, mm -hmm. the people paid for it. Yep. So $14,000 since, since 2007, I don't think right. that's bad at all. Get it fixed. Mm -hmm. No, I, I can't wait for it to be fixed. Even so. I'll be less confused in life. Like work and uh, Everybody else that calls the office and says, your clock is wrong. <laughs> 53 times a week. Then, yeah, any questions on the treasurer report? Well, we, you can hire somebody to keep turning. Just keep you. moving it. That's We're going to give you It's a little stick. Get a little gerbil. You know, just feed them and get the little thing going. Um, all right. Anything in regards to the treasurer report outside of the report? Okay. Uh, borough solicitor. Congrats. Uh, just requesting uh, executive session for personnel matters, and also I can provide an update on uh, attorney-client privilege communications regarding the Northampton County Court of Pleas docket numbers 2023-09734, 2023-10559, and 2024-01039. All right. They should probably have the short executive session prior to moving on with the agenda. Right now? Mm -hmm. Okay. Should I just maybe knock out? Oh, no, because no. I understand that. Oh, okay. Well, you got the meeting minutes there for the planning commission. Right. Should we just knock that out? And then yeah, I would knock that out. All right. Uh, so item 11 of 22, Bath Planning Commission meeting minutes. March meeting minutes in the packet. Sorry, I breathed into the microphone. Maybe. That's okay. <coughs> Questions about that? No. We don't need a motion or anything. Do we? No. No, you're just, well, you're I, just recognizing I'm just, the, the planning commission know, just, meeting minutes I haven't provided to you. It was like crickets. So. No. no. All right. So uh, we're right. looking for a motion to go on executive. Motion. Motion by Second. Jim. Second by Michelle. Seven All in favor two. signify Second. by aye. Aye. Okay. All Seven opposed. Three. The ayes have it. Aye. For those in the audience, you're more than welcome to stick around. I don't know how long we'll be, but we can, we'll be back. Start, yeah, we'll all start together. Just waiting on you, Frank. I got a motion to come back in the regular Ooh, session. Motion. Second. Oh, my gosh. Uh, Jim 741. And, uh, Manny. All right, Jim and Manny. 741. Yeah, Jim and Manny. All right, uh, before we the president's comments, well, I had a comment for counsel that sure. I, I want in the record. I got a copy of attorney Chad Schnee's letter today addressed to Michael Long. And Mr. Long, you're invited to respond to this if you'd like. Last time I tried that, you yelled at me. That's not true, Mr. Long. No, I gave you an opportunity to, uh, pr you know, come to the podium and engage in the conversation. You chose not to. And then at the very end, uh, you change your mind and made a certain statement and I said you already had your opportunity and it was gone so as I said I'm giving you the opportunity you can engage in the conversation but first I'm going to read the letter into the record but I recommend this letter be made a part of the minutes meeting attached to council's minutes for this meeting so it's a an attorney from Chad Schnee uh, who is a special solicitor for the borough for right to know law matters he is the attorney of record in three different appeals that are filed in Northampton County Court of Common Pleas. I had read the docket numbers earlier um, when I had requested the executive session. And uh, the subject line for this particular letter specifies one of the docket numbers, which is the 2023-10559. And the letter reads, Dear Mr. Long, I am in receipt of your June 8th, 2024 motion to dismiss, which in New York, which in which you larger, largely reiterate various positions that you have raised in other pleadings before the Northampton County Court of Common Pleas and obdurately insist on relying on procedural rules that do not apply to statutory appeals. Additionally, I note that a number of the legal citations you raise in your latest filing either do not exist or do not in any way stand for the proposition for which you cite. Your citation of non-existing cases is itself vexatious. And as you have been previously cautioned against using fake citations, obdurate. You have cited the following cases, none of which exist based on my research. Number one, paragraph 13 of your motion, Song Sun versus Shinseki, 
63, Atlantic 3rd edition, 858, comma, 862, Pennsylvania Commonwealth Court, 2013. Number two, paragraph 18 of your motion, Wilco Electric versus Weco Incorporated, 586, Atlantic 2nd edition, 956, page 958, Pennsylvania Supreme Court, 1991. Number three, paragraph 20 of your motion, Green Acres Rehab and Nursing Center versus Sullivan, uh, five, that's, uh, volume 536, uh, Atlantic 2nd edition, 515, page 518, Pennsylvania Commonwealth Court, 1988. There's a footnote. There is a similarly named case, Green Acres Rehab versus Nursing Center versus Sullivan, 113, Atlantic 3rd edition, 1261, page 1273, Pennsylvania Supreme Superior Court, um, 2015. However, this case specifically held that an argument regarding service was waived. Paragraph um, number four, paragraphs 23 and 42 of your motion, Franklin versus Way, 15, Atlantic Third Edition, 521, page 525, Pennsylvania Commonwealth Court, 2011. Number five, paragraph 31 of your motion, Sully versus Zoning Hearing Board of Music. Bureau, I'm sorry, Borough, 604, Atlantic 2nd Edition, 776, page 778, Pennsylvania Commonwealth Court, 1992. Number 6, paragraph 39 of your motion, Thompson versus Cortez, 41, Atlantic 3rd Edition, 855, page 860, Pennsylvania Commonwealth Court, 2012. In paragraphs 17, 22, and 41 of your motion, you reference the case City of Philadelphia versus Frem Pong, 865 Atlantic 2nd Edition, 314 Pennsylvania Commonwealth Court, 2005, for the proposition that the Commonwealth Court emphasized the importance with service requirements and that this case underscores the necessity of serving legal documents by certified mail to establish proper service. This case, however, does not discuss service at all, let alone by certified mail. In addition to representing fake citations as genuine, your motion is largely duplicative in that you reiterate arguments you have previously made in other filings in this matter. For example, you argue that the court lacks jurisdiction to hear this case and that service was improper, both arguments you have made in other filings. With respect to service, despite the fact that the borough has repeatedly noted that neither the rules of appellate procedure nor the rules of civil procedure apply to this statutory appeal, you have obdurately continued to cite such rules to reiterate the same arguments previously made. The fake citations you have referenced in your motion lack any grounds and only serves to cause annoyance, especially as the borough has been forced to expend funds to research your fake citations to evaluate the legal propositions you claim they reference. Additionally, endlessly clogging the dockets with duplicative filing serves no legitimate purpose whatsoever. I ask that you withdraw or amend your motion no later than J July 8, 2024, in order to avoid a motion for sanctions for your vexation and obdurate conduct. Signed, J. Chadwick Schnee, Esquire. Any comment, Mr. Law? No, no comment whatsoever. Moving on with the agenda, out of 12, 22 presidents' comments. Um, I just had a, a comment question um, of council and of uh, Bradford um, and engineering. Uh, it's come up in the past in our town um, for a while. Um, public transportation, I know it's not an easy thing. Um, I know when we did the comp nice com comprehensive plan, it had come up that's being worked on. Um, what I was wondering is it would just be uh, a regular request, not saying that it would happen, but an almost of a way to keep reminding uh, Leah Valley Planning, reminding Lanta. We can maybe um, once a year or so submit a letter to Lanta asking them to consider uh, adding public uh, transportation into the borough bath. Um, we have a lot of renters. And I know we have a lot of traffic and um, perhaps it would be a way to reduce some traffic, but also as a way to let our residents get in um, contact through public transportation to other parts of the valley. So I don't know 
I'm not saying that that would be awarded to us or granted to us, but as a way to just remind them not to forget about Bath and to maybe keep us in consideration. I know there's a lot of moving parts and there's a lot of money and other things involved, but um, just throwing that out there. What Brad's thoughts or anybody on council's thoughts are on that? We had looked at it previously with Lance, I think in 2016 or 17. They do ridership studies, I think, and that's why I think they pulled out of the borough years ago. I guess we can bring it back up for sure. I mean, the population's changed, things have changed. It doesn't hurt to send a letter off and just get their thoughts, but they do, I think they'll, they'll do a study. I think it would be appropriate to send a letter based on the motion of uh, council, uh, but also to copy Lehigh Valley Planning Commission and the Lehigh Valley Transportation Study, which is a subcommittee of the Lehigh Valley Planning Commission. Anybody's thoughts are on that? Yeah. All right. So, I don't know, right? <coughs> draft a letter or Ron Weber would be appropriate for drafting that letter and I don't know if we have to vote on that maybe next month or if we can vote on it now for a motion and then just put it together? It's, I think borough manager could do it and just simply saying that we'd like Blanta to study bringing a uh, bus service back to uh, your public transportation back. back. Yep. Okay, so we need a motion for that then? If you want to get in the minutes, you just have okay. council authorize the borough manager to write a letter to Lanta to express um, the borough's request for Lanta to, re, you know, I don't want to say reevaluate, but, uh, you know, right. somehow say reevaluate, you know, public reconsider transport. public transport, a public transportation route through the borough of Bath for the benefit of its residents. I'll make a motion of what you just said. Okay. I'll second that. Manny, second by Sam. Any questions or comments? Hearing on all in favor signify by aye. 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 All opposed? The ayes have it. All right. Um, 13 to 22 new business. Ratification to pay monthly bills per the April Treasurer's Report. Motion. Second. Motion by Michelle. Second by Manny. Any questions? Hearing none, all in favor signify by aye. 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 All, all opposed? The ayes have it. Um, B, I want to table, if you don't mind, until later on. I want to get through some of this other stuff. We're okay with that? Yep. Okay. Um, 14 of 22 in progress, wireless communication ordinance review. Nothing to report. Um, there was a company going around checking the telephone poles, so the utility poles, the other week. Um, and I know some of were checked if they were routed away or not. Um, do you know if... That was the entire borough, or just certain sections, or they were in the right order house too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they did four at our property. Yeah, yeah, I see a big yeah, like nice. bolt through It appears to be borough wide. We yeah. weren't notified that they were going to yeah. be doing that. Right. So. Yeah. What did they do? They checked the base of the poles for structural integrity, and I think they do like a fiberglass wrap. They'll dig yes. away from it. They'll do a fiberglass wrap, and then that cures, and then they reset the pole for stability. They've done it up in my neighborhood. Okay. So, yeah. so there's nothing we have yeah. otherwise report on that. Okay. Um, North Bath Trail updates. Anything? Ron, do you want to just give a brief update that you gave uh, Brad and I regarding the meeting that you had with the Brian Cope? Yes. Uh, Northampton Parks and Rec's Brian Cope uh, had a pre-design meeting with their hired consultant, HDR. It was held at the Bathboro Authority property. Um, they only received funding for the Norbath Trail to be extended to the Norbath, to the Bathboro Authority property and will end at Mill Street. They're going to be expanding their driveway to include a very small parking lot, but include handicapped spaces. And they are just walking uh, the area with their surveyors to determine uh, what all needed to be surveyed in addition to the easements that were already secure. So the goal is to have it designed in 2024 and go out to bid and construct it in 2025. Thank you. Any questions? All right, thank you, Ron. 
Uh, what do we got here? A is tabled with B for our new business. Well, not tabled, but for later on. Um, item B under motion and action items as to the question of approving a motion to publicly advertise the MS4 committee meeting to be held at George Wolf Elementary School Gymnasium for Monday, June 24th, beginning at 7 p.m. for the purpose of updating and soliciting public comment about the borough's MS4 program. So this will be a town hall setting. Uh, Manny, is there anything you want to touch on from the MS4 committee? Uh, no, just that uh, the solicitor will be there. Yeah. The special Least, solicitor. The right. special solicitor. Least than that, yep. Uh, from Salzman will be Hughes. there to uh, answer questions and to also uh, give reasons for doing uh, an authority rather than uh, having the borough try a different route of increasing taxes, etc. Um, and we're looking at 7 o'clock on the 24th, and then after that we're going to be meeting on July 1st as a committee and uh, come back to council with a recommendation for the following Monday <laughs> so that we can uh, make a decision on this and get in in time for uh, grant of applications, et cetera. And in order to be able to get this done in time so that we can get it up and running to do the work that's required by the state. Yeah, so again, town hall format for those in the public to um, <coughs> voice concerns, questions, those kinds of things in regards to MS4 and um, the plans potentially for moving forward with that. So looking for a motion to approve a motion motion of a motion to publicly advertise this meeting to be held Monday, June 24th at 7 at George Wolf. Motion. Motion by Sam. Second. Second by Manny. All in favor signify by aye. 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 All those opposed? The ayes have it. Um, obviously, it'll be a public meeting. I encourage council to attend. It's not really mandatory, obviously, but highly encouraged that we're going to get the uh, some, some comments and questions from everybody. So. Uh, Brad, there's a fee from the school for that? There is. I have not received that fee yet, but there will be. Do we need a motion to pay that? Or? Well, it's, uh, I think it's under 100 bucks. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's fine. No, you can move to you know, or pay the fee for the, uh, yeah. the meeting. Yeah, he did the math, so we could do this. So. No motion for the fee, or no, we don't. You can. Yeah. Just right. yeah. Motion Counsel. for the fee to uh, pay the school district the reuse of George Wolf Elementary. Motion. Second by Manny, second by Jim. All in favor signify by aye. 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 All opposed. The yeah, ayes have it. All right. Uh, two other things I want to get into that, but let's knock out these two resolutions quick and then we'll come back to those. All right. Resolution 2024-005, open container waiver for Spuds and Spurs Festival, which is held this Saturday, July 15th. Or June 15th. So, that just before that day. Motion. Yeah, you've done this in the yep. past. Motion by Manny. Second. Second by Doug. All in favor signify by aye. 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 All those opposed? The ayes have it. Uh, resolution 2024 006, adding public works employees as parking code officials. I'd ask this one to be tabled because I, need, I haven't had enough time to go through this and compare it to certain parts of our uniform traffic regulations. I just want to make sure all okay. the language is correct. So it's tabled till next month, please. So tabled. All right. So two more things I want to go over. So uh, everybody in your packet under the manager's report. Um, there was a request from Manager Flynn um, for a for so he applied for a grant for a new truck for Public Works. I'm sure all of you have you you have reviewed that in the packet. Um, so the grant was quote unquote awarded, um, but there's a contingency with the grant that we would have to pony up some money um, for approval. So I wanted to have an open discussion about that. Brad, I'll let you kind of explain the background and what we're looking for, and then obviously open it up to council for your input and thoughts. 
Yes, yeah, so Public Works is looking to replace the GMC 6500 that we have. It is not a uh, commercial vehicle as far as it doesn't have air brakes. It's got a lower tonnage capacity for hauling and things like that. It was a 2013 model, so it's got some years on it. So there's some damage on it currently. We have it in the shop for brake line issues, and it's got some body issues from salt, from past salt damage. So we're looking to step up in a 10 ton single axle dump truck, probably a Mack truck with a, uh, a different style body. That truck, this time last year, was priced at to 270, I'm sorry, $244,012. It's now jumped up 14% going into this year. It's likely to jump up another 5% between now and next year. The borough was awarded, we filed three different grants for the cost of this truck in total. And one grant has been denied. The local shared account from Northampton and Lehigh is going to give us $189,970. So that was roughly 69% of the cost of the truck as we stand today. There was a statewide local share that's still pending, but that application may not be ruled upon until later this year or early part of next year. If you purchase the truck now before the grant hits, they will not give you the grant money. The problem is timing. Trying to purchase now or waiting and then getting hit with later fees and the cost of the truck later. So we could purchase now on the one grant that did hit and pull funds from uh, highway aid and capital improvement to cover the remaining balance. And then my report it looked like it was up to 31% skin in the game for the borough, opposed to what we originally had thought last year was only 15%. And this, is, of course, is always the, the fun with grants. And that was the thing that, uh, and you and I briefly talked about this at the beginning of the day, but um, yeah, because I thought it was, when we were going that route, it was potentially going to be less. Right. So I'm not gonna lie, it was a little sticker shock on my end, um, especially when I look at the MS4 and all the money we gotta find for that. Um, a precursor question to that, though. I'm looking at the spec sheet and everything. Are we looking at is it a triaxle or no, single? Yeah. It's a single axle, right? Because my follow-up concern to that was we're worried about the weight on the smaller roads, and I know we're like telling the garbage companies and sanitation companies, hey. No triaxles, no this, no that, and then if we go out and buy a similar vehicle, then we're going against what we're preaching. We're nowhere near the weight of a of a trash truck. So the truck we have now is five ton. It, it can carry up to five. Yes. This is ten. This will be ten. Um. So yeah. So like Brad said, obviously there's a grant we got uh, grant approval for that. I guess. Um, and there's this well, outstanding. How much do we owe? Fifty what? No, more than that. 87. 277 minus 180, 189, right? Uh, the price, well, it's 277, 180 right now. And we have 189,970. Wait, what was that? It's up to 277, 180. It's almost 100,000. No, 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 no. no. The truck cost now is 277. We got a grant. Do you want to read the number? 189. Yeah, 277, 180, where we sit today. 180. Right. And then you have 189,970 coming nine to you. 189,970. It was 87,210. 87,210. Brad, what did we pay for the truck in 2013? <coughs> I'm sorry, sorry, that again? The what did we pay for the truck that we have from 2013? What was That's, the price of that one? I don't have that. Um, I can get that for you. I'm curious. I wasn't sure if they got that on a grant. If Bobby was here, you could have. It was during Bobby's era. I was just wondering, uh, also, was there, I didn't see any like, comparison for between uh, that and the International, and just wondering if there was going to be like multiple quotes and or comparisons shared with us prior to the We're working through a co-stars vendor, so I'm trying to keep this at cost. Because it would be more if we did it. Well, Correct. Yeah. If you bet it out, then forget it. These numbers are... <laughs> There's no information. Well, so co-stars, are you saying that there's only my truck? Well, we can look for international. I just, my preference wasn't international because of how they're built. Mack trucks have a better reputation. They're more for the types of operations that we're doing, the to and from. 
Well, I just wondered, like, with the, for the maintenance on the vehicle, because my truck is like, where, where it be maintenance is like, really a much greater distance than the other four people that create dump trucks in this area. Yeah, again, it's going through a co-stars vendor, so we don't have to put it out to public bid. That's the whole right, idea. I know, but I just mean further maintenance on it, like any time that would have to be service. Maintain it. Would right. have to go to, out to Mukunji? Uh, most likely. But, like, Frank, I mean, all is, like, right here, right? Or Horwith. Or Collins? Or if they do the board, yeah, right. Horwith. Horwith or, or Collins? This is right here. Collins or Horwith. Yeah, North Hampton. Right, it could be a diesel mechanic. I mean, Collins isn't going to do that. Horwith pretty much only does freight liner anymore, but, I mean, there's, I guess, a chance for Collins? anything. Sorry, I don't know my topic. That's all right. Is the, is the grant specifically for that? Like, there's. Well, that's so we, is correct. It for a truck or specifically it, Well, only we specifically that spec'd truck. out this truck, too. Okay, so that's what the only we thing we use that. it for. Right. Well, I just mean, with what other criteria one? I just mean, none of this information was shared with us. So, reading your document, there really wasn't a lot of information in there for us to really make a great decision mm -hmm. on how we're going to spend a significant amount of money. Mm -hmm. I mean, for me to make a decision on something like this, I mean, well, just based on a business type thing, at my company, I, it would be a no approval right from the start, just seeing the information that you provide. So, I mean. All right, so the grant that we were awarded uh, as a deadline, I believe, has to be signed off on by June 30th. Got an alert because with any kind of grant approval, so you make a you council says we want to apply for a grant for such and such, apply for the grant, and then it gets approved. There doesn't get approved. It gets approved. Good news. And now council has to vote. All right, are we good with the grant? Especially if there's money that has to be thrown in, um, and then council has to say okay. And then the two signers, which are Brad and I, um, with um, at this current junction, um, then we sign off on it. And it goes to the next phase, and then the state has to sign off on it. So um, we are on a deadline, are we not? If we don't sign it by the 30th, what were to happen? Well, then we'll forfeit the grant. And I don't but, know anything about, oh, I'm sorry. No, go ahead. I don't know anything about trucks. Can, can you plow with this type of truck? Oh, yeah. Yeah. So it's got a full and plow it, it's set. it's on yeah. a road, small roads <laughs> yes. to plow? Well, and yeah, and we're a primary use is for the hill, and we're also, the bro is going to take over a portion of West Main Street from Chestnut, or I'm sorry, from uh, Ray Street to Northampton once the realignment's completed. So we have to have a truck that's going to be able to... And when will we get it? Not until 2027? At this rate, at least 25, late 25, if you purchase now. So besides plowing for snow, what, uh, what other uses does this truck We're provide our, to the public work, for right. public work? So they're doing a lot of the road work in-house, so we're pulling a utility trail over 10,000 pounds, which was the need for this kind of a truck. So your paving equipment, your rollers, and that's, you know, they're going to continue to do that kind of work. That's what you need. Do we still do, I know this is way back, but we had like some kind of agreement with, was it Upper or Lower Nazareth? Yes. Upper. That we would, you know, share vehicles and such? Whatever happened with that? wasn't to share vehicles. That? It was to share paver, uh, the uh, roller, yeah. and um, a, um, a grader for the skid steer. And do we still share all that? We do. Mm -hmm. And is the, the, well, something at one point was broken, is it fixed now? Paver. We have their paver now. We've kind of taken we've their taken older it? paver. We've refurbished it, and we're going to use it for a lot of our in-house stuff, a lot of the alley work. What do other municipal powers? In this area, slash, like more or less in Asgard towns. What's that? What are they? Our size. Do they have trucks of this nature? Bigger. Single axle. Them? Most of them are around us in the townships are a lot bigger. They're going to be tandems. And this is a CDL truck, right? This is a CDL truck. It's got mm -hmm. brake uh, air brakes. And the CDL they have can cover this truck. Correct. And how many years do you generally think that we get out of the truck? I'm thinking it's a 20 year haul. The truck that we currently have, I feel like I'm going to be crushing all your right? This is good. Uh, <laughs> it should be down there. Uh, the, yeah, it should be down there. You lost them, they're leaving. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do it with Tony. So yeah, I'll get a truck. I know. <laughs> um, 
the truck that we currently have, obviously it's operable, the guys are using it. Um, is it like on its last leg or something? It's on its last leg. We can't we can't use the utility trailer it's because of its weight, the gross weight, mm-hmm. and the loads that we're trying to carry with it. I mean, you're really running it at max. Which was the one we put the engine in, not this one? No, the 2500. And the thing is, you're also using this for the blacktop only. Right. So that you can bring in more blacktop quicker before it ends up uh, getting cold on you until you get the second load in with that, which is one of the other reasons for it. And the biggest thing with this is the money that's in uh, the liquid fuel funds, a certain portion of it has to be used for equipment. So it's not like we can use it for anything else, so we might as well use it. If we're getting 189,000, because who knows when you get that kind of money again? So of that, what we're on the hook for? Let's just what did we say? It's 87. 87 uh, 210. Let's say it's 80 grand. It's more than let's say 80 grand. So there's it's gonna, almost 90. All right, so it's 90 grand. So of that money, now what Mandy was just saying, that's in the account that we have to use it for this stuff. How much is in that account? I don't have. If you pulled up online, oh, we have our, yeah. Mm-hmm. I need to see our MS-965 to see what our allocation, I don't have that in front. Do we have another council meeting this month? You have one scheduled for Wednesday? No, I'm just asking in case people need time to digest it for another day or two. That's all. I'm not trying to delay. I just want everybody to feel questions answered to you and your... I have more. So that, yeah, go ahead. the 2013 truck lasted 11 years. So how are we going to make this one last 20 years? And how often is the truck going to actually be used? I mean, I'm here all year. I really don't see them doing road work that needs a truck like that all year long. It might, might maybe, what, 10 times, 20 times out of a lot of days? I, I don't know. It just seems like a lot of money to me. Well, they are going to use it for road work throughout the year. Um, so not only is your winter, winter maintenance operations, but you've got your the road work that needs to be done. So it is something they're going to use on a constant basis. I don't see them really doing a lot of road work, honestly. Well, we did. What did we do last year? What road work did we do last year? Out East Bath, Penn Street. Did quite a bit. And Almost two, three hundred thousand dollars worth. And, and how long did it take them to do it? It was the summer. The whole summer. Every day for the whole summer. Pine and pen. So what, 90 I mean, days? I'm not going to say it was every day for the I mean, whole summer, but I mean, days. there yeah, was still I, quite I'm a... I'm trying to make sense of this. To me, I'm looking at this and go, holy crap, that's a lot of money. Okay, then flip it the other direction. They spent uh, about $300,000 doing that. Okay. It would have cost us somewhere in the neighborhood of $1.2 million if we would have not did it ourselves and had somebody else do it. What? So if you look what at what you're bring, saving, You mean just to bring in blacktop? That's no, what no, no, no. Our for, public works doing your road work in-house is saving this town a lot of money. Okay. Tremendous. Right. On the order... Because I think what... You're, you're paying like $125 saying an hour to bring the truck versus us buying the truck is what yeah. you're saying. I mean, I think it, it might be cheaper to rent the things. So you're, right, but so I think if I'm following you, Manny, it's, you you know, you're trying to get the truck rented, and then it's going to be rented during the times you need it. Right. Well, that doesn't always happen the way you want. And then if you are scheduling for work to be done on your streets, mm-hmm. weather delays or something else happens, you're pushing that schedule all over the place. But and isn't then, that why you schedule it? So that it is set place. So you went and say, hey, I want to rent a truck all of the, all of su- the summertime. Here's the dates I need the truck. They're either going to say, yeah, I have a truck, or no, I don't have a truck. I, I think if that was the way, a lot of different municipalities would do it that way, but we and don't. Plus, we only have three guys, so if one's down, two can't do the job, you know it. Yeah, but that would have anything to do with the truck. No, I know, but still, you can't schedule something and then expect to do it, but then you don't have enough guys to do the work that week because this one's sick, 
You're putting the burrow in a tight schedule. If you have bad weather and you can't do it that week, now you've got to switch it to another week. But that guy may be on vacation that week. Or the week that they have it available doesn't really need to respond. It ends up becoming a real to a vault, right? Yeah, sure. It just becomes a real issue. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. You were saying that. Ron would like to see other alternatives. Ron would like to interject. Mr. Madison. I don't know, I haven't looked at any of this, but I'll say these two cents is that if you give back 189,000 awarded grant, don't think you're going to get grants again from the same agency. Right. I, I don't know. I'm new to the council, so I wasn't even aware that we were doing any of this with the truck. I mean, this just kind of came out of left field for me. It may have been in the works a long time. I just am not aware of it, so I apologize if I'm acting like I, I'm confused. Because you know, but right. we, were yes. expect, we weren't expecting such a big residual. It's our thing. Okay. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So I guess it was in the works. I just wasn't aware. Correct. Yeah. So, this was over a year ago. Yes. This has been going on for a while. Um, just because of the other part with that you were asking about the other truck, it sure. only lasted 11 years because it was too small to do what it was supposed to be doing and it killed the truck. You get a you get a bigger truck that can take that kind of abuse, it's going to get 20 years out of it rather than the 11. But either way, they're all going to break down at some point. You're always going to spend money on maintenance. But if you get something bigger that can handle the work, it's going to last a heck of a lot longer. We hope, right. I mean, nothing well, today lasts Nothing too today long. lasts yeah. long, but, <laughs> but then again, at least it's got a, what, three-year, 36,000-mile warranty on it, I think? We'll, we'll figure that out. You yeah. know, whatever so it's going to come for the next three years. You're not going to spend anything on it. In 2013, we're spending money every freaking week on it. All right, so two things. Um, oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead, go ahead, Jim. Yeah, Jim, Jim. Someone is asking about the um, liquid fuel. I, yeah, liquid fuel. Is that the Highway 8? Right, right. Yeah, yeah. How much do we have in there? On the May Treasurer's Report, as of June 7th, 343,174.73. However, you mentioned that not all that is Correct. Applicable. So roughly 35% of that should be allocated for oh, equipment. Oh, so it covers it, though. Well, I think you are covered because we've not really used it in the last right. few years. See, that's the point I was trying to make is that you can't yeah. use that for anything other than equipment. And this is a piece of equipment that we need, and you're getting the grant, so you might as well use it. Or three, five yeah. times. Or what yeah, you're just no, no, three, five. I guess. And if when we do need a new truck and, and then then we don't have the grant, we're going to be putting out the grant. And six months ago, this was 247. Now, 120,000. 120,000. If that's correct, yes. Yeah. So, 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 just Jim did the math. So, so Brad, Brad made a comment about out of the Highway 8 fund, 35% of it could be used for the purchase of this truck. 35% of that is $120,110. And the, and the balance was 88, 89, 90. Where we stand today. Where we stand today. Yeah, when we say where we stand today. Yes. The new pricing sheets come out in October. So we could go, we could end up spending 150000 no, I don't, we don't think know that. I don't think you're going to spend that. So there's no guarantee right now today. We say you can't lock gonna, in the price on the truck. You is can't, that what you're correct. They said because the, the pricing is, is fluctuating. Rapidly, but if you order it next week, you're not going to pay 270 some out. Some it's 277 today. The when the price sheets for the trucks come out in October, that's when you lock it in. Oh, you can't lock in. Not so right now. Can't lock it in right, right now. All right. Oh, well, we still okay. You can't lock in, but we still have the 100, 190. You 000. need to get on. A, so basically, you need to get on a list. Is there any? I mean, is there any? projection or estimate what it might change to in October based on historical data? Well, they they were looking at a 5% from 24 into 25. But that's anybody's guess. In, in the past four or five years, how much of how much has that percentage fluctuated year to year? I mean, do we have any idea of that. I mean, yeah. I, I know what you're saying. It could be yeah. 5%. What's the worst case? 
I don't have that data. We, we, we just know it's 14% this year from last year. So, so the range right now is between, the range right now could be up to 14%. That's probably a safe assumption. The amount that three hundred some thousand that's in the liquid fuel account. How much we Jeez, in like hundred. So we changed our twenty thousand. Right. And then that remaining amount, when does that get replenished again? Every year you get your liquid fuels. You get the allocation from that. And what month does that usually arrive? We've already got April, so we've already received. We, get? On average? we only get around seventy thousand total. So we get about seven every year. Yes. So correct. you'd be paying out, let's say, ninety. Grand. That's total, Michelle. That's not the allocation. That's total amount, and of that, thirty-five percent. So you'd be is paying out ninety allocation. grand in addition to this grant to buy this truck. Next April, let's say, rolls around, and you're getting if it's seventy, eighty grand from the state. So you're replenishing seventy, eighty, seventy or eighty thousand of the ninety thousand you potentially spent. No, right. Yeah. It's. It's a portion of that yeah. seventy, eighty thousand, yeah. not the whole seventy eight thousand. Thirty five percent. So it's small, Frank. Yeah, it's only like twenty something. So Correct. so if if based on historical cost projections, if it goes up another fourteen percent, that's about another thirty eight thousand dollars. If we take into effect that we can get one hundred and twenty thousand out of it, all right, there's another thirty thousand, so so eight thousand dollars short. So it's about four years to replenish. Yeah. That amount. That's in the right. that's in the highway eight fund. Right. Yeah. It'll take yeah. about four years. About four so years. What, what equipment do we need in the next four Good years question. with a big price tag? What do you foresee? In I the think next that this truck was the biggest of the so schedule. Like two hundred twenty-five thousand. Right. <laughs> If we if we decide to use one hundred twenty thousand out of the highway aid fund, we'll have about two hundred twenty five thousand left in the highway aid fund. But we can only take thirty five percent. Right, your equipment. Allocation. That's what I'm saying. We can only do thirty five percent for the equipment. And are we going to have a meeting Wednesday or not? Not to change the topic, but. Not for just things. Yeah. I think people know what we're, we're, we can make a decision tonight, probably. I just like time to digest stuff sometimes, but I understand. I mean, I'm just about to see you can ask them if they need more time. I just think that if you give money back the next time you ask them, yeah. you're going to have issues. Because they're going to say, well, I didn't take it the first time you gave it to me. It's paying for the majority of a piece of equipment that you do need. So and the what, rest of it's coming out of money that's already that has to be used for that. So you're saying though that the agreement was made before I came on council to buy this truck. If, apply for a grant. Well, apply, apply for, for a grant. grant. But there's grants that can be matching. There's grants that can pay a percentage. Okay. When we went into the agreement, we had hoped it wouldn't be more than fifteen percent. But you don't ever know that sure. going in, so you have the opportunity to either accept or deny. Okay. Based on, you know. Brad had asked. Yeah, I think the general fund. I would vote now. Yeah, Brad. Brad had asked. Uh, I think it was the last budget yeah. time. At some point, I forget what month. He went. He said, "I'd like to buy the truck." And we said, "Well, we're not. We don't have that money. We're not going to budget for that. If you can apply for a grant, maybe then we'll have a different yeah. conversation." Well, apparently, you apply for the grant, and yeah. now we're having this part of the conversation. So, um, the liquid fuels account. Uh, is just equipment, and if you don't, so if you don't spend the liquid fuels account, it just sits there. It It'll keep there. accumulating. That's what we've right. done, actually. Right. When's the last time we used it? Uh, we lease payments on the skid steer, and that's paid and then off. we bought it. Correct. Then we purchased it. Right. So we have any outstanding equipment loans at the moment? No. And it's not a true Right, it's it's any, a beefier a, package than the sixty five. Well, Mike, any, any other right. any other you know road equipment, construction equipment, or any any other equipment that yes. is in need, you know, has been in need of a lot of repair, and you know, it's the next to go. 
No, I can't think of the pavers new with the one with the owned jointly with Upper Nazareth. The rollers new. Are um, street sweepers okay? Street sweepers in good shape. Uh, the hot the hot shot trucks are okay. I, I, yes, the, the I mean truck. sitting here today. I mean we just did the twenty five hundred, and that was that was an engine rebuild. What happens if so? So let's say we take the thirty five out, but now something else happens. Can we dip in for something different, or it's only once, once per a year? year? It's, it's whatever your allocation you're allotted. That's all you've got for that. You can't cross over to the rest of the fund. So if you to purchase, so once you use equipment. that thirty-five percent, you, then you've you're depleted done. it for, for that. this year. For that year. Yeah, for the year, then which but, you but may come, have spent it all. But, but come if right, you'll get another. So come January first. Come January first. Well, whatever you whatever the balance is there, correct. you have thirty-five percent. Yeah. With this truck, what are the charges for? Okay. Got it. Because that's only six months away. So this truck, it's got right. It's got the salt spreader. It's got it's all the it's working features equipment. It's got a plow for it. It's eleven foot plow. So it's this is a full package. And we're showing yeah. price. Yeah. There was no other charges. In that is the garage? Is garage kept? Is garage kept? No, right. This is yeah. we did this as well, a full. Oh, yep, a full outfit. Yep. Where we, where we keep it will be garage kept or yard kept? Probably yard kept. It won't fit in the garage, I don't think right? it will. It also includes a tarp, something else that we've lacked. You need to have tarps to cover material, plus the lighting package. Can liquid fuels be used? Plus the what package? Lighting. lighting package. It also comes with automatic tire chains, something I was wanting to get for the crew because the, they only have currently, they put manual chains on. Yeah, hey, that's what they, builds character, man. Yeah. Did that Putting chains yeah. on on the oh dually. That's why right. you think this this physique just built itself <laughs> overnight. I mean, there's a lot of good jeans. I think. Oh, anyway. I've never seen you wear jeans yet. Yeah. <laughs> I'll make a motion to proceed with the grant. Second. I, yeah, I'm, I'm I'm going to comment on that to say that based on that we can use the 35 percent of the 343, and then in you know, and then it's less well. In seven months from now, come January 1st, when we have the balance of 220 something, we can then use 35% of that for any new equipment purchases in 2025. I mean, I know we're looking at the, the what's in the fund. We're now. looking at yeah, we're looking at May's we treasury. To, right. I don't have our there's what's called an MS uh, 965 from the state that shows you what your allocation is. I just need to see what that allocation is. But Do you yes, want to go you get. Yeah. Let's see that. Can you stretch your legs? Five minute recess. <laughs> sure. Oh, yeah, we're doing a five minute preliminary <laughs> motion recess. It's okay. <laughs> Yeah, how ironic we have a scout here tonight and you're getting you're getting a call from a scout. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Coincidence? Yeah. That was part of what was I was like hopefully in yeah. seven years. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. It seems like a, I, mean, you know, I, I met him as a mom and Brian a couple of weeks ago. You know, when when this when this came up as parts of wreck, I think it was in March or yeah, it had to be a March yeah. meeting yeah. we were talking about. Yeah, but it. I choose and to vote. Frank and Doug, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Brian Ray. Do you don't roll. have to, like Lawrence. So you don't reach have out to him, got yeah, connected with him. Yeah, we do a roll call. We probably will because of the situation. Connected with Kate. Right. Right. Well, well, I wasn't known coming in tonight, right. but then well, he just he just we finished up. Oh, so he's, he's, he's going. So he's going to do. Yeah, yeah. So he just yeah, right. Yeah, right. Yeah, so. I mean, good time early good. to get the Eagles. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. That, that, that's what I thought too. Right. I mean, that's what I thought too. I mean, I, I thought, oh, gosh, it's a little oh, sure. later, but yeah. no, I I was, he drives go karts, races go karts. So that's honestly, yeah, that's like constant digest. We can come back Wednesday, and I know it's only one hour. I think I think what Brian was saying. I don't understand. Right. I'm a person that I like to understand how things work. Long story short, he's I think he's a right like young that. man. You know, he's. So I'd rather just say he's, um, you'd rather he knows have right. Wants, you know right. what to do. Uh, knew how to go to the that right. console and get the now, if we project. Have time, that that was bad. Then, yeah, then it's my fault. Yeah, that that is my fault. So. No, I mean, you know, so he's, so he's, so he's, he's done no the season the project work. Now it's a matter of okay. <laughs> now the hard work. Yeah, you know, now a lot of hard work. I also want to use this. Well, all right. Back in from our Back five minutes. But, all right, Brad. But I also want to use this moment real quick for an educational thing for the for the newbies. Okay. 
explain how liquid fuel tax, where we get it from, where it's stored, and what you can do with it. So it's the Act 44 from uh, uh, every time you pump gas. Right. There's taxes collected from the Commonwealth, and that money gets dispersed down to municipalities. It's based on your total road miles that the state calculates that you're eligible for. It's a formula. Yep. Yes. Yep. So the bur this is part of our revenues every year. Yeah, so it's based on your road miles, but also population and however else they kind it's of formulate. formula. Yeah. So end of year 23, we received $70,487.73 in liquid fuels tax money. Then we get, there's an allocation for equipment for the, for last year was $14,097.55. So currently we, we're holding 83406 in uh, equipment allocation. And that doesn't include what we got paid this year. These are filed on a pr you know, previous year basis. So how much can we take of that 84000 towards this trip? 83406 Oh, that's what we can take. Okay, yes. yeah, because yeah. we have 300 or something else. So but, you figure but, no, but, we, but, we, but we don't know how much that we're going to get for this year, for 2024, because that's 20. This is 23. We do have 24, so it's another 14000 on top of what you're 83 now. So you're just over hundred grand in allocation. But we also don't know the ending price of the new truck. Yeah. It's so, moving. so instead of the 120000 that I calculate based on the three Correct. Price, it's a little bit right. It's a little bit. Less. So it's r roughly 100000 Correct. And the target price is moving. So it could that's be 277 But the 14%, could... is, that's a huge jump. But what doesn't matter, though, because we don't have the final cost, so we get all... Be kumbaya tonight and say, yeah, that's fine. Let's do this and let's use the liquid fuels tax, and then you end up quickly locking in the price in is, October, and now we owe another forty. Is grand. there anything we can do in regards to? I'm just thinking, like, you know, okay, is there not earnest money, but is there any, like, is there a letter of credit that we can? Is there any kind of? Is there anything we can do to what is this? say that we're going to? Hold on, hold on. Anything we can do to? to Indicate that we're going to buy, you know, come hell or high water, we're going to buy this truck. You mean like in ten dollars down? Well, yeah, well no, 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 I'm, no, I'm, not, I'm not talking about. No, I'm talking so about like a letter. I'm talking about a letter. Like you deal internationally, you've got to give a letter of credit. Do, okay, that's what I'm trying to understand. A letter of intent. A letter of intent and a letter of credit. You know, some, something. That's along. what this is. That's what we're doing right now. Because if I'm if I'm given the green light, then I'm telling them that we're coming. Then I'm to sign up for the truck. But that we wanted to put on the list. You just but they cannot. They cannot. But the list for the schedule to be announced in October. Correct. Yes. Sucks. That's so weird. That's just a, yeah. It's yeah. terrible. That's what makes me uncomfortable. That, uh, because yeah, it the unknown. It's, it's, and then not that same. It could be twice as much. Is that just mm -hmm. Mac? Um, that's through this CoStar's dealership. Mm -hmm. Can you sign up? I'm just asking this question. Can you sign the grant? Sign up. They come back and they say the truck's three hundred fifty thousand dollars. Can you now? You can money? back out. So can we make a contingent? Ooh. Can, can we do a contingent? I mean, they've I, I mean, they said... signed a grant agreement, though. I don't no, that's I'm the problem asking. with the grant thing, is you're on the hook because they, they're giving you 189000 for this. You can back out of the dealership. If you say, I could tell them I want five trucks, and, and tell them not, we're not getting any. But then what happens, what happens well, to that 189000 Well, you're still on the hook for the grant. So there's two things here. Dealership, what you're doing with them, but then also this grant. What's the grant agreement say? Can we just return the money in... <laughs> Just I'm not recommending that. No, well, I'm not. I'm not I, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. I think I'm just, you. I, I, I don't think know all the details. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you're right. right. If that's what I asked originally. You said it was, you it's put it specifically for what oh, you're requesting. Okay. So when? So so if you said okay. So to your question, you can't use it for another piece of equipment. No. Once you designate. No, we told them we were getting a, a dump truck. Yeah. yeah. Okay then. As a worst case scenario, if it goes more than what we have in liquid fuel funds, can we take a loan and pay that out of the liquid fuel funds? I think you can. That way we don't use any of the right uh, general fund money? Right. I mean, that could be the contingency here is that general funds off limits. So if we have to go outside of liquid fuels, then... Right. So Either just pick up a... It would be a small loan. Small loan. Correct. So, so in tw well, in 2025, can we use any money from 2025 to pay your debt more, or you can make a loan to the general fund. You can do that. 
and then you pay it with the uh, allocation in the in 25. So you could do that. So you can pay a loan off with Blizzard. I have a question, Brad. Does yeah. this sound right to you in your experience? I, I haven't been in a situation where, like this, where the, the supplier is saying you can't lock in until our August, I'm sorry, our October prices. But I guess I guess what the well, what the the issue is is the timing is off because obviously the the uh, supplier doesn't care how you fund it, right? right? right. Yeah. They're not tied into the grant program. Yeah. The grant program runs its certain right. time frame, and it's just you're you're caught out so of the, the grant. Sink. Money, grant runs on a fiscal fiscal. It's no. with their terms, yeah. which it could be. And you can't the ask to extend the terms of the we, grant. We've done this currently. You can. Like we could say, look, I know we got to sign it by the 30th of June. Can we ask for another extension before you approve it? I wouldn't it. I don't do know the extension until next year, until no, you're close. He's to saying an extension before you accept oh, the grant. That's what he's saying, oh, right? Yeah, this, I just yeah, want to make sure we're talking about the same thing. Yeah, and, and and I mean, yeah, like is there there's is there any stipulation like that where we can say thanks, guys? We want to use this. This is great. Thank you very much. A million thanks. Yeah. But like, we're now between a rock and a hard place here, and we still want this. We're going to throw skin into the game. But, like, we got to get a little bit closer to this time frame. I would wait, like we've done with the boiler grant. We we did an amendment on that. We extended it another six months. But we also ran it to the, almost the end of the term. You were already awarded well, that he's, money? But he's talking, oh, yes. he's talking something different. He's talking about... We already signed the award and everything. Right. But that's He's talking about not accepting the grant, I think. Mm -hmm. That's a different, they're not he's the apples to apples. He's asking for a date, sign, a signature Instead date the, at a later date is what he's asking. What they he's saying, he's saying can, can, can we... Can we ask for an extension on the grant to be, no. instead of signing so it by it's June 30th, by August, by uh, October 31st? We can ask them. I don't think that's going to fly. And the reason Which being, they have the time deadline, because right. if you don't accept, they offer they're it to somebody, give it to somebody else. else. <laughs> right. But, That's what you're trying to purchase here. This isn't your run of the mill. No, no, I understand. It's, 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 no, no, I understand. You know, it's, it's, it, it's, when does it have to be paid on delivery? Or there, if so, after the October pricing, if we are under a purchase order, it's within 30 days of whole that amount. time. A whole amount, because they can't be left so sitting with a truck. So that we have to pay for it in 24. Yes, and remember, these are reimbursement grants. So we have to fork out the cash first before the state gives you the cash back. Right, you have to pay the Yes. This is just another lesson in why we need a capital improvement fund, why you need cash laying around because we need to be able to apply for things. And right. Most of the state grant, they're reimbursable. So. They all are. Right. That I've seen. Right. Yeah. So, so just to just to run through the numbers again, we were gonna, we have eighty. You said we have eighty three thousand. Yes. Plus. Roughly fourteen from this year, correct? You just contingent. It's ninety seven thousand plus the one hundred eighty nine thousand, right? Mm hmm. So we're two hundred eighty six thousand. Maybe that we could spend ninety-seven thousand, right? Plus one eighty-nine. Two hundred eighty-six thousand. Right. So I think over two hundred eighty-six thousand, we have to loan from the general fund and pay it back. So, so if so, if, so if anything over two hundred, yeah. so right now at, at on June set on June tenth, it's two hundred seventy-seven. But it's not. Right. But but it's not going to be two hundred seventy-seven thousand come October thirty-first. Right. It might be but a little higher. But if it goes higher. up thirty thousand, it'll be three hundred seven thousand. Right, that's a heck of a jump. <laughs> so if it goes, if it goes up five percent, that's two hundred ninety thousand. So we're within, we're very close at, at hand there. And like you said, we could borrow against. Oh, we have to right. use money. Yeah, you don't want to give that back. And if you don't use that money for equipment, what else do you use it for? You can't. You can't. You can't. Well, that's what I'm trying to say. Right. Like, so like. At some point, we have to use it for something. 
And is there a deadline to when you have to use the money? The no, it just rolls that. over. It just rolls. So the state could say, here, we gave you we give you this every year. You could hold on to it for 100 years? No. 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 Not 100. No. But that's what I'm saying. But eventually they're going to ask you that you have to spend this money that we gave you yeah. from taxes. But we don't know what that time frame ever is. It's we usually a year. It's usually a year. You but have to use it within a year. They're all different, but, you know, general, so, the general rule is a year. So when, we, when we're granted this money or given this money from the state, yeah, we've had some of this money here longer than a year that we haven't spent. So, so no, we're money's the, the highway eight fund money's from the state. That's not grant money. No, I'm not, I know that, but I'm saying we get that money, like the gas money. We get that yes, money. right. And they say, here you go, guys. Yeah. So we have to use that specifically for certain things. Equipment. Yeah, yeah. But if we don't, well, we thirty-five percent of it's a rollover, right. rollover, rollover. Is it going to come to a point where like the state's like, look, we can't no, give not you on this that, every but year. not on not on that. So you can that's hold not that in perpetuity for however many years you want. That this, I don't know that, if there's a statutory cap on that. Uh, that's the first. Yeah, that's the first like, like, yeah, money. Yeah, but are we ever going to get into a point where we've held it too long and you haven't used it for equipment? I I don't know without. Looking up the statute, you know, but like most and a half, you have to take a distribution. yeah, like your RMD on your retirement. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. let me just. I bet you there's not. It just lets you accumulate because sometimes you need a very large number to big buy a very big piece of equipment. Like so, this, like, like this. this. I guarantee. And we're there. I mean. So if. So you, so but you the look, question you, is, do you wait, wait, wait when the price is going up, up, up? <laughs> yeah. yeah, we're gonna end up right. never so having a truck. I don't. Right. I don't know the answer. They're never gonna go down. And uh, liquid fuels is not keeping up pace with vehicle costs. Correct. Right. Yeah, that's, us. that's yeah, us. Just like raises the cost of living. Correct. So basically, buy now or pay more later. Right, yeah. Did they that's take PayPal? <laughs> so can it, Venmo. So Venmo. Is there any Do we get points? So, all right. So just to everybody, is there any? Uh, I mean, based, based on... I mean, Frank, based on the numbers, you know, with the 83 and 14 and... The grant of 189. I mean, we're we're looking at about 200, 286,000. It's 277 now. You know, if if it does if it does escalate, the cost of the truck does escalate to 14, 15 percent. That's probably around 315, 320, somewhere around there. So that that could be our exposure. Or if it's more reasonable, four or five percent, then we're literally within. The money that we have between the grant and the liquid fuel. So when I yeah, so when I came to the meeting tonight, I was a I was a pretty hard no on this. Mm -hmm. I'll be honest with I don't know who uh, if anybody else about too. this. Um, I was uh, uh, unaware of the explanation with some of the liquid fuel stuff. Okay, um, I know you had a lot in the packet, and I try to read it all, but I black out now and then. And so like, we know what. so that money that we have there has to be used used for something. So in my mind, that changes the dynamics a little bit, right? Um, I don't want to spend any money. I always think of the MS4 thing. So when I came into the meeting tonight, I said, we got to find a half a million dollars for MS4. And here we're going to be potentially spending 60, 70, 80 grand on a truck, which we need or don't need, whatever, there's debate in that. Should we use that 60, 70, 80 grand and apply towards MS4 expenses? Well, we can't. Well, we're not you can't. To, can't do that. to do that. So that makes no sense in my mind. Mm -hmm. So then when you're telling us we have this money here in this pool that we have to spend specifically on equipment, and we haven't been using that money. And then my question was, how long can you leave it in there before you have to use the money? You guys are saying without digging deep into the legalese, you can't really say, but there might not be any. And it might dig in and there's no answer. Right. <laughs> No so cap, that no changes cap. my perspective yeah. on this. I'm just saying. I could see um, that, that they just let right. you, why should they tell you how long you should build right. up? Right. right. I wish we could add some sort of stipulation on this twofold. One in regards to money that we can cap ourselves that we're not going to spend over a certain dollar amount. And if we're getting to that, I guess you can't change the truck that you want to buy. We can't go back to the changes in nulls and voids to the grant, right? I wish we could make a monetary cap on the borough side for any commitment. And and dang it, the other thing is, I, I and I know I'm just talking in circles, but why can't we ask, you know, any other stipulations? Like it's like basically like here's the money, got signed by the 30th, and that's it. And then it's like basically close your eyes, cross your fingers, and hope that the price doesn't go up that much. 
So the question, okay, the, but there's a question before about what happens if October 30, you know, October comes along and they they reprice the trucks and the trucks are just astronomical. Astronomical. Mm -hmm. and they're, they're, you know, there's no way we can reach it right. in a million years. Do we have an out at that point? And, and what's our exposure? If, do we have an out and what's our exposure? I would say, yes, you pull out at that point if it... Yeah, you're signing for the truck, but you could still say no. I'm not paying that. Yeah. You guys had us at yeah. two seventy seven at this point. Now you want three ten. Yeah, but, yeah. but we, we want us being asked though is on the contract with the supplier. Is there any down money that you would then lose? There's no down no, money. No, no down money. So you don't lose any. So we don't, we don't lose any down money. Correct. Okay. And then you look at the grant agreement, grant. and then what's the grant agreement right. say? If we, we do, we just return the money. Issues. Right. Do you just return the money and then? Right. They might mm -hmm. look at that in the future when you apply for grants. Oh, they yeah. might be like, well, well but we, you know, but we also but you have we a good all, explanation. Well, yeah, so. but that's what I'm saying. We have an explanation. If there's an explanation that I mean, know, even the state doesn't want you to what the grant in debt. Yeah. Okay. Five hundred thousand dollars. They want you to do something I think, like Frank, that. That's something we have to right. just something we have to consider is that we can make the you know if we make the decision to buy the truck, okay. Come October, if these new prices are astronomical, right. and there's just you know they're they're saying it's three twenty five, three fifty, whatever, we can say no. All right, which means we're, we don't lose any of the money, okay, and we can just return the grant. Well, now that now the grant now that might that might be bad optics, okay. So we might look at that and say, oh, geez, you know, Borough Bath returned the grant, but we have a good explanation. You know, the, you know, the truck in 2024 was 277. The truck in 2025 was 350. Yeah, 377. Now, I mean, he did make a point. He said you could say anything that involves going outside of liquid fuels that that's our cap, where we say. But we'd still be getting. Well, we can. Yeah, we can say. We can also say that too. That we're not going to. You know, we're not going to go out. And make the payments from liquid fuels. That yeah. way, nothing but liquid fuels. You Correct. Use for it because it can't be used. For with, I think I think many within reason though, but if you know, because um, if yeah. you know, if, it, it's if, it's, if, it's, if it's if it's stupid, if it if it's a yeah. stupid, you know, like now if it comes back and you got to put a, a hundred eighty nine <laughs> to match the yeah. Yeah. the, the growth, yeah. just can't do yeah. that. Mike, you wanted to say something? Didn't uh, you guys used to use liquid fuels used to cover the cost for some street lighting and traffic stop those traffic lights? Couldn't you redirect some of that liquid fuels money to pay for that now, Caddy? And then open up that extra 20 or 30%. So Mike speaks of liquid fuels. We've used some of that cash in the past to cover the cost of lighting in the borough. We have not done that in the last two years. So that's why our allocation, that's why our liquid fuels is as high as it is now. Oh. Okay. So you recovered that by I, using that I think fuel. he's asking if that, money out that money's part of 35% or if it's not part of 35%, can you use that? That's what I think he's saying. Um, Why don't you ask him? Was, are you speaking of the 35% the allocation? Well, yeah, just in general. Like, if you, you currently pay for those things out of the uh, general fund, right? We pay for lighting out of the general fund. Right, and if you reallocate and use that stockpile of cash that's sitting there and liquid fuels, instead of coming out of the general fund, that money will come out of there and, you know, open up that money in the general fund. Well, we're talking about using the liquid fuels yeah, fund. Right, but I'm saying either way, that 35% allocation that you have for your truck, your equipment, isn't isn't affected by that. But you would be opening up an additional thirty or forty thousand, you know, twenty thousand dollars, let's say, in funds that would be the general fund. But currently, it pays for the lighting. But you'd be using the. But that wouldn't come. But out he, of the you just said you have been doing that right for the right. past few years. That would come out of the rest of the money that remains. Right. The, the, they separate into two portions. One is where you do the roads, uh, your lights, etc. All that stuff comes out of that portion. But there's a portion which is the 35% he's talking about. They can only be used for equipment. Right, but I'm saying if lights would not be the equipment. No, I get that. But currently, right. you pay for the lights out of the general fund. Mr. Long, that, that Mr. Long, Mr. Long, hold on. Oh, Manager, I, I yeah, but I'm saying, I, I see what he's saying, that. but but Brad had mentioned that they haven't made that expenditure out of the general fund for a few no, years. Stopping, right? The general fund's paying for streetlights right now. Oh, yes. Okay. Yeah, what he's saying could is, use if we use right. the, so if we're we paying, take it out of the, the funds okay. that we would 
normally use for uh, doing streets. Okay. The non thirty five percent. Right. The non thirty five percent. You want to pay the, the general fund. Pay, put it into. No, the, uh, pay for the. Um, Street lighting. Street lighting. He's saying take the non 35%. And then the money that you're that saving to... in the general fund, you throw over to make up the difference, is what he's saying. Which basically is doing the exact same thing that we're doing, there's except we're saying take it out there's of There's probably a reason. Right. Okay. <laughs> Which leaves you money for other items, like streets. Yeah, I, I, I can't comment on that now. I don't. No. I'm lost actually in all this. Yeah, it's actually we're it's getting <laughs> so deep. Yeah, yeah. I think we're right. so just down to a roll call. That's it. Vote. Yeah, let's um, let's yeah, just do a roll call vote. Um, there was a motion made by Michelle, Michelle but there was no second. Yeah, Manny did. Oh, um, Manny seconded. Um, so I guess I'd like to call a roll call vote, right? Yeah. Um, I vote last because that's Robert Rules of Orders. <laughs> So I'll ask Manager Flynn to call the roll. <laughs> call Councilman roll. Lysaki? Are we still? Ah, sorry, sorry, but time out. The motion oh. is yeah. with yeah. only using liquid fuel funds to make up the difference, whether it means a loan or whatever's in there now. Okay. Only use liquid fuel funds, right. whichever there, whichever there now. I don't know. Is that going to? I just I don't want to make this complicated. <laughs> And what I Too say late. about it is, what, <laughs> Too late. what do you need? So this is a motion that's going to authorize the purchase of the truck. Okay. To proceed with the grant yes. and fund it through the liquid fuels fund. Okay, that's it. Whatever the remaining balance that's of that motion. may be. And we're not so, going to add any little caveats. So, so for, for no, if we need numbers, we're talking about 97000 from liquid fuel in addition to the 189,000 grant money, grant money plus whatever there's there's change in there, grant money. So one sentence: proceed through with liquid fuels funds. Period. Only that was only only, only, only liquid fuels fuel with with the grant funds plus the liquid with fuel the funds, funds only for the purchase of the public works right dump truck. Does that make sense to everybody as far as the motion goes? That makes sense. Yeah. Doug, does that make Based sense? on... Yeah, no. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I want everybody on the same no, that's, page. That's, that's Based good. on that motion, yes. All right, so Very, Jim's, Jim's a yes. Uh, where are we at? Account, uh, Councilwoman, or Vice President Ergot. Yes. And Councilman Marabito. Yes. Councilman Hammondike. Yes. Councilwoman Bullsnake. I know I'm staying, please. Okay. All right. And Councilwoman Hanks. Yes. President Hash. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did, uh, yes. Was that a yes? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes from the president. Yeah. Okay. You're not. It's a yes. All right. Yes. Thank you for everybody's discussion. This is how this is supposed to work. All right. So. Yeah, that was good. All right. So there's one other item that uh, we need to address. Um, uh, there's two. There's two. The one item is uh, there's a Sado application twenty twenty four dash zero zero two, which is the owner of five twenty two East Northampton Street has submitted a subdivision app and land development application, um, and is going through the review process and submitted plans. Borough engineer did a review letter. Zoning officer did a review letter. The zoning officer identified multiple. A zoning issues that would cause the applicant to file an application with the zoning hearing board to pursue whatever variance relief they're going to request and um, that's going to take time so the applicant at the last planning commission meeting uh, offered the, uh, the borough an extension a lengthy extension let's say the extensions dated May 20th 2024 
and it went it'll go to February 20 the end of February of 2025 if they needed that much time and the Planning Commission recommends that you accept the extension granted by the applicant I also recommend that you accept the extension granted by the applicant so um, requesting that you take action on this uh, proposed the application to February 28, 2025. Second. Second. Motion by Manny, second by Jim. All in favor signify by aye. 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 All opposed? You guys have it. All right. Now, last item, correct? I, I have one more before the last item. Oh. <laughs> All right, and whether or not you're going to cancel Wednesday. That also All right, has to so be considered. Two more things. All right, Dr. Madison first. Under item C, as may be needed by borough council, um, we completed the comprehensive recreation park and open space plan. Uh, came in under budget by about 10 percent. Um, we are is just we're just <laughs> asking uh, permission to uh, expand the scope of work to to continue our discussions with. The county and other agencies to look for other grants and to uh, do research on the actual per EDU parks and rec fee and uh, not to exceed the remaining unused portion of our contract that you already approved. Uh, you originally, last year, you approved $67,500 and we came in under $6,950, and we just continue to use those fees for trying to secure grants. We made this uh, recommendation to Jim, but it didn't make the agenda. All right, so what do you need from us? Do you need a motion for that? Well, you need a motion to amend the agenda to consider amending the scope of work that was approved previously with Collier's Engineering regarding that particular project. And the scope of work, um, Ex the ex expansion of the scope of work would be to, for Colliers to do an evaluation of the recreation fee in lieu of, right? That and to continue the discussions with grant agencies to implement the master plan. So it'll be really two things at the end of the day. So the first thing I'd recommend council to do if they're inclined to take action on what the borough engineer has said is um, amend your agenda to uh, consider uh, expanding the scope of work that was previously agreed upon with the borough engineer regarding the comprehensive park study. All right, so I have a motion to amend the agenda. Anybody? Right, you oh, need a oh, second. Oh, oh, yeah. Motion Michelle, second by Jim. All in favor, aye. 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 All okay. Opposed, now. Now, the request is to amend your existing contract with the, the borough engineer regarding that particular project to expand the scope of work for the borough engineer to do a study regarding the recreation fee in lieu of and also consult with the relevant grant agencies, grant agencies. Um, now the, but the payment terms of the existing contract will not change they came in under budget and there is a balance left of dollars. right so you're just expanding the scope of work. You're not changing the payment terms. And it's just the balance of 69, whatever that number Ron just cited, will be paid after the work is performed. Motion for in lieu of and the uh, 6950. Motion by Michelle. Second. Second by Doug. All in favor signify by aye. 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 All opposed? Okay. All right. Then there's just two things. Are yeah, you going to have first, a meeting on Wednesday? Right. First, I'm looking if the council wants to or does not want to have a meeting. We can have a meeting even though there's nothing pending. Motion to cancel the meeting. Second. Uh, um, on Wednesday. All right. Motion by Manny. Second by Michelle. I love seeing you guys. Been up All in favor signify by aye. 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 All opposed? Nay. Put me down as a no. I wanted to have the meeting. <laughs> What was the topic? I don't know. I just wanted us to just have an open discussion about life in the borough in general. But, you know, that's fine. If you guys don't. You can find you something else to do. Honestly? Yeah. Okay. Lauren's right. going for a, a bike ride. You're welcome when to go today, along. Welcome to well, we could have did a group bike ride around the <laughs> We could have did a group room. bike ride. Right around the room. All right. I my knee shot. See, look at this thing. I don't, I can't say. 
<laughs> All right. Uh, and then one last item. Um, uh, correspondence was handed to rural council. As council knows, I've been discussing with council my long range plans because I've been working for the borough for at the end of this year will be over 20 years. And I'm obviously I practice municipal law. I have other parts of my practice and non municipal law uh, with the municipal <laughs> law part of my practice. Obviously, I'm out at night and most of council knows if all of council knows at this point that I have two small children, 11 year old and a nine-year-old who are now really into the sports and they're having their you know evening activities like tonight you know i'm missing the the, the boy scout event for my son and uh, so i've been talking to council and informed council that i've recommended that they go out for requests for proposals to have me replaced by hopefully by the end of the year uh, or earlier it's up to council because i serve at council's pleasure Excuse me. What's that? He said, who the hell's going to yell at him? Well, and after and after after we deal with this, I, I do have a, uh, a, 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 yeah, a comment, but yeah, I'd rather yes. deal with this right. here so first. Well, I mean, you know, I've notified council that they need to go out for requests for, you know, I'm recommending that you do that, go out for requests for proposals to get proposals from other uh, prospective solicitors for the borough because I'm changing my practice. I'm going to be at home at night or and or out at sporting events or dance events or what have you. Um, I've enjoyed very much working for the borough uh, and I, you know, on special projects, you know, I'm really going to limit if, if I don't eliminate my municipal law practice, it's going to be severely limited. And I think everybody, you know, over the course of your life, things change. Sure. And uh, I'm just going to make a change here. So. so do we need any motion to go out for proposals? So this would be item uh, B under new business, RFP 2024-002, past solicitorship 2025 and into motions and action items A, ask this question or approving motion to publicly advertise RFP 2024-002. So a motion would be to just that, to start the RFP process for uh, a municipal solicitor. Motion. Motion by Jim. Sadly second. Second by Michelle. Uh, all in favor signify by aye. 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 With regret. Yes. All opposed. Much regret. The ayes have it. That concludes our business portion of the program. Um, Jamie, you said I, I do have a comment. It's not related to that, what we just did. But I will say, to Mr. Long, something that I was thinking about when you were talking about the, the truck, the dump truck, okay? What I noticed, I'm not sure how many years ago, you guys really kicked it. I, first of all, you did a fantastic job with this building. And I forget how long ago you actually completed the building. 2018. 2018, okay. I mean, you know, selling the old place, building this, you know, volunteers, it's incredible. Great. And then after that, I noticed a severe uptick in doing road construction, like I've never seen before in the borough. And I've been here a long time, just as I know a lot of you have obviously been here a long time, but I just, it just struck me. And I told Brad, I was like, wow, you guys are really kicking butt. I mean, doing all these roads, it's great. And sitting here, you know, with the dump truck, and, and frankly, I was thinking to myself, if they didn't have to spend what they've been spending on legal, <laughs> you wouldn't be even having the conversation. There you would you have go. the money. No, seriously, Mr. Long, I've told you this before, outside there of a public go. meeting, and I'm saying it in a public meeting, you really need to consider what you've been doing. Yeah, seriously, and I've it's given that. you the opportunity. You know, I haven't said anything about the other stuff lately. And I gave, and I tried to explain to you, like you, I, you know, you and, and I and Attorney Shani could and talk. I've been digging into some numbers. What's that? So I've been digging into the numbers. Yeah, and what well, have you hold, found? Hold, 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 hold. What's that? Uh, hey, I found some stuff already. But Mr. Long, Miss, Mr. Long, and I offered it to you previously, you know, where you and Attorney Shani and I could talk about how to, uh, you know, get a resolution down at the the county court. Uh, whereas you would not be monetarily uh, liable, it, you know, you didn't take me up on that offer, okay? And now there's already a motion that's pending from the borough side from Attorney Schnee uh, asking for you to be uh, sanctioned because of your vexatious con uh, conduct relative. 
No, no, I'm not talking about this letter. There's a previous motion because you had a pleading previously where you cited two court cases, Pennsylvania court cases, and you, and you claim that they stood for certain legal principles, which they absolutely do not. But that case doesn't matter. That, that, that was filed prematurely. And <laughs> yeah, but you even admitted in your response that you cited you, you cited case law that does not stand for the principles that you claimed it stood for. You recognize that. You, well, I, we all make mistakes, though. Yeah, but, but, but Mr. Long, I'm asking you to recognize what you've been doing over the long term and you're costing this municipality money on legal For when... you filing response documents to your documents. I get it. Because if the whole reason I'm red for is because you guys weren't happy with the decision, you owe more money. Correct? That we did take an appeal. Which is that is true. Appeal. So everything I'm filing is only in response to what you filed. No, that's not entirely. That's not correct. You are filing responses to certain uh, filings that were made. Did we lose anything, Jamie? No. Did we lose Thank anything? You. Well, everything's on hold because they, they appealed everything. Well, Mr. Long, what I'm saying is I think you, as a resident of the borough, you should be considering, seriously considering what you're doing because... Oh, yeah. Well, they show us to you. Give it to us right now. Who stole? Yeah, yeah, actually. Who? No, no, to no, make that, no, no, hold on for a second. Talk. Wait a second. Who? Let us talk. Let us talk. What, what, no, specifically, talk. what are you claiming, sir? Specifically. Please, by all means. I've committed fraud. Okay. I didn't say anything to it. Fees yeah. committed fraud. I, I stole it. Who stole it? Yeah, please, by all please means. Please say it. Finish that sentence. Why don't you? Because he doesn't have it. He just likes wasting time. That's okay. Time. My lawyer is listening. Let him say it. He can't say it because he has nothing to say. End the meeting. Sad, Mike. This sad. is sad. Very. Is this what, sad? What you're doing is. to the borough is very, very sad. It is. Are you Tag using our name? I have to make edits. Are for you? A are transaction that was 16 years old. Sad, Mike. Why, sad. Why, why would you have to make edits for a 16 year old transaction? So I've committed Brad fraud? What are you talking about? Ago. Right. Yeah, right. Exactly. exactly. But he goes in, he made changes to, to transactions. He didn't make any from changes. From 2000, I have it right here from the audit. Yeah. We, we don't, don't care what you have. Yeah. We'll yeah. 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 We don't care. He's the lawyer, he understands more. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Right here, a transaction from 2016. You, For 2006. Right there. I have no idea what you're looking at. You need to submit it. You can submit it to me if, wrong. if, if okay. with your claim. Wrong. Wrong. Michael Long okay. is wrong. Yeah. <laughs> that's the deal, bud. Yeah, that's all right. Keep costing your mother more tax money. Keep it up. It's just bad. Dump truck wouldn't be an issue. I'm sorry, people, but I'm done. Okay. Motion adjourned. Motion by Manny. Second. Second by Jim. All in favor signify by aye. 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 All opposed. 906. I stole.